Yes, yes, yes. Good night to you one and all again. Good night to you one and all again. Students, welcome back to Jamaica Hot Topic. This is the second class we're having for the night. Good night to you again. Welcome to the live. Welcome to the night live stream. Welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic, where we bring you the hottest and latest news happening in and around Jamaica. As usual, it plans to be another exciting, entertaining, and informing night. So please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you would like a shout out, please mark your name present in the register. All right? On this program, we usually start with a song. And tonight is going to be no different. I'm going to start with a song. So please just enjoy the song. Good night to you, students. Remember, as you're coming to the class, please hit the like button. As you step into the class, please hit the like button. No, you know, I'm just playing an excerpt from a gospel concert, you know? Just listen to it for about four minutes and then we'll start the class. Let's go. Good night to you one and all. Wherever in the world you are, blessings and welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. We have a lot of things to talk about tonight, all right? Because Delroy Chuck him is talking about the six. Delroy Chuck is talking about the report on the six. And Delroy Chuck can just go to Devon and say, Devon, tell Jamaica about the six. Why you did have to come out, wait me and there. We know it's a game on our play. We know a game on our play, but my viewers and subscribers, we're going to fix them later. But for now, let us just go ahead and listen to this music. Good night to you, one and all. Welcome again to Jamaica Hot Topic. Listen to this music, and then we'll start the class after a few minutes. Hello, we got the King of Kings, man. In that kind of little tightish, some of us will lose it. Anybody there from country? Where the people, where the country people them there? Let's have a prayer quick, quick now. Where the people them that were tired of Satan, everything you're doing in your prep. Say Satan, go away, man. We don't want you in Jamaica no more. My viewers and subscribers, the man say everything we do Satan in our business. We will tell Satan, say, go away, we don't want you in our business no more. My viewers and subscribers, this is not a song. It is an excerpt from a gospel concert in Jamaica. So I want you to listen to it. And anything the artist say, you can just... Do your usual thing, them in the comments. Talk up, blaze the fire if you like it, send up the love. Just listen to the concert and be blessed. And then after the, the concert for about four minutes, we'll start the class. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Put your hands together and we got the king of kings, the man. In that kind of little tightish, some of us will lose it. Anybody there from country? Where the people, where the country people them there? Let's have a prayer quick, quick now. Where the people them that were tired of Satan, everything you're doing in your prop. Say Satan, go away, man. We don't want you in Jamaica no more. But you see, if we all do this, we all do this militant. More and somebody get up on your foot and do this. Quick, 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 quick. Me and say Jamaica fast, I'm not gonna sit down. Go to that shame. Jump up on your foot and do this quick. <laughs> Whoa, Lord. Come on, clap your hands. Countryside. Whoa, Lord, 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 Lord. Play that again, play that again, play it again. Clap your hands, Jamaica, worship. Ready now? One, two. Everybody who don't like Satan, go some. Hey, Lord, I'm in. Go take Jamaica, what's up, bro? Go some. Go some. You ready? Yes, my viewers and subscribers, good night. Welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. Welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. Please remember to hit the like button, all right? Type it at the comments, my viewers and subscribers. See it and you can't prevail. Type in the comments, my viewers and subscribers. See it and you can't prevail. Enjoy this little gospel concert. And after the gospel concert, we're going to start the class. Enjoy the gospel concert and type, see it and you can't prevail 
everything we do in wine our business. We tired of Satan. Goodbye. We see my pop with every plan him get we try him best with five words. Everybody put down over here. Everybody put down over your head. If you have a hand and you have a head, go so, go so, go so. Say, 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 go bird, go bird in the blood. Look in a stadium. Everybody go so. Whether you're stush or you're not stush, go. Hey, 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 back way. You are gonna say that. One, two, three. Boy, you're not saying that you're losing, you're not saying that you're losing, you're not saying that. To God, you want people once and over here, son. Me got your head on my boot. And I'm a pretty white boot. Watch him, I'm a crush him like fruit. Mix me now. Hey, say, get confused with the rhythm of the youth and the rhythm of the truth. Everybody got up. I can't take off my jacket, I just for two more minutes. Monitor, monitor. Thank you, white pants. I'm in a black pants tonight, but a white pants in there. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah! Oh. Mr. Benjamin, I can feel like a place where God can feel good for God. Say hallelujah! Oh. Where the people have done over swell out for God. Your husband walk out and left you and you still as a god. Pick me them up your trouble, you still as a god. Crime and well, violence. my viewers and subscribers, the man that taught the things them yesterday, you know. Big up the people and we still as a god, you know. Big up the people and we still as a god, you know. You sold out to god, you know. You know, like Devon was sold out for money. The man that got talk, say, husband left you. You still wall on, picnic your trouble, you still have said God. God will say, and if a God has a type in the comments, a God will say, hello, good night. Listen. Feel good for God. Say, hallelujah. <laughs> what the people have done, I swallow out for God. Your husband walk out and left you, and you still have a God. Picnic them up your trouble, you still have said God. Crime and violence, what God gonna mark you up. Satan on a part for we. Are you ready? Follow me now. Oh Lord of mercy. Everybody will believe in our God. Go so, go so, go so. Let me hear you say, oh, Satan on a part for we. Turn up a monitor for me now, man. Oh God, man. Oh Lord. You ready again? Bust out with you. Bust out with you. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, so better, better. Boys and the warrior, them go so, go so, go so, go so. And everybody go so, go so. Sit and I got my dog away. We never go in my dog away. Sit and I got my dog away. We never go in my dog away. Sit and I got my dog away. Sit and I got my dog away. Sit and I got my dog away. Watch me. Me out here to me see you cartel. Make him feel like him other than the fire was cartel. No, them lock him up in a cell. And him want that to be every boy, you know. When you rap to me, I make me out sweat. Go demon, demon, I put the chip for 69. If you swallow out guts up, everybody, everybody touch up. Tell it every single day. I'm gonna wanna yoga my dog. We don't gonna worry on my dog. Till it makes up, fuck up. Oh, watch, 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 watch. Tell it every day. Hush, hush, may I go home now, but touch your neighbor. Looking at them eyes. At this one, you carry home tonight. Tell them. Say, me no one no sin the pami, no, 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 me up it clean. Righteous living, we are carry pan the seed. No one no sin the pami, no. Me wanna be holy. Tell the neighbor, 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 neighbor. Me no one no sin the pami, no, 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 we up it. Righteous living, we are carry pan it. Now everybody go tell them if you want sin free. Whoa, Lord. Sin now. Kill people, pick me. 
me I tell you this. See now we are again. And the one that we are going and our real people pick me. See now we are again. See now we are again. See now we are. No, my viewers and subscribers, the brother body no man. Me nah I like the brother body no. The man says see now we are again. My viewers and subscribers, if you agree with him, type in the comments says see now we are again. If you agree with the brother said, sin now we are again a righteous living. Tell brother Devon that. Tell brother Devon. Say so if I come out because sin now we are again. Listen to this and my viewers and subscribers. And after this, we start a lovely class. Good night to you and good night to everybody coming in. As soon as the register, please remember to hit the like and listen to this uh, music and type sin now we are again. Good evening. Hey. Cartel. Make him feel like him hotter than the fire was cartel. Now them lock him up in our cell. And him want that to be every boy, you know. When you rock Tommy Lee, you make me hot sweat. Go oh, demon, demon, I put the triple six in now. If you swallow out guts, everybody, everybody touch up. Tell it every say you know. I'm gonna wanna go to my door. We don't gonna have a ring on my door. Till he makes up, fuck up. Oh, watch, 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 watch. Tell it every other man. Hush, hush, may I go home now, but touch your neighbor. Looking at them eye. At this one you carry home tonight. Tell them. Say me no wanna see the pami, no 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 me up it clean. Righteous living, we are carry pan his seed. No wanna see the pami no. We wanna be holy. Tell the neighbor, 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 neighbor. We don't wanna see the pami, no 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 we are fit. Righteous living, we are carry pan it. No, everybody go tell them if you want sin free. Whoa, Lord. Sin now. May I tell you this? See now we are again. All the one that we are grown and our real people pick me. See now we are again. See now we are again. See now we are. Yeah, yeah, from a guy in my yard. Big up yourself, Jamaica. One love. One. Hey. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. That was an excerpt from a gospel concert. That happened in Jamaica. Good night to you, one and all. Wherever in the world you are, again, I take this opportunity to welcome you to Jamaica Hot Topic, where we bring you the hottest and latest news happening in and around Jamaica. As usual, it plans to be another exciting, entertaining, and informing night. So please go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the like button. And if you would like a shout out, please remember to just type in the comments and I'll call the name, all right? Let us bless up everybody who is in the class. Jenny Stewart said, good night again, everyone. Yes, we're back, Jenny. What a banger rang tonight. Juliet Jackson said, blessings upon blessings at Topic. Same to you. Now this is a good night again, one and all. Same to you. Sexy Fat said, good night at Topic and classmate. Sharon Savage said, blessing at Topic and everyone. Juliet Jackson said, present. Earlene Edwards said, good night, everyone. JP said, good night, teacher and classmates. Carlene said, good night again. Paulette Ponance is a present teacher. Sister Edwards said, good night, everyone. George Oldworth said, good night, one and all. Angela Palmer said, good night again at Topic. And classmates, now this is a like and share as you arrive, classmates, as we are check something. Yes, go ahead. Like and share. Calligraphy say good night. Jimmy say good night again. Wagwan well, Jimmy, blessings to you. Jay say good night at topic and classmate. Joy McKenzie say good night at topic and classmate. Larry Smekford say good night, everyone. Elaine Morgan say good night, everyone. Now this is a Kali Larry's blessings. Sona Newman, big up yourself, Cynthia Smith. Tanisha Bailey, big up yourself. Florence, a teacher, more back again, big up yourself. Shelly and Stephen said, night, everyone, and teacher, hot topic. Thanks for the double class tonight. I really appreciate it. Well, I big up yourself. I'm glad and I appreciate it. All right, Shelly and big up yourself, man. Kaleva said, good night. Viv Chin said, good night. Arlene, Nardi, Jenny Stewart, Lisa Six. What, my Lisa? True loveless, unstoppable. Nardi says, Satan, you can't prevail. Sharon says, Satan, you can't prevail. Juliet says, see it and you can't prevail. Inez, big up yourself, big up yourself, Inez. What go on? Dwayne Clark, blessings to you, Dan Clark. What go on? Big up Dan Clark. Wayne Evans, big up yourself, my boss. I know the kind of low, but no watch no face, all right? Junior Henry, good night to you. Colleen says, see it and you can't prevail. Big up on yourself, big up yourself. Lana Silvera, 
Marie Glaze, Joy McKenzie, Verena Miles, Stacey Ann Stoner, yes, Arlene, Leroy Henry, big up on yourself, Winsome Daily, Jay, there's so much comments there, Woy, Claudette White, Jenny Stewart, Pauline Gale, Charmaine Edwards, uh, who else now? Charmaine Edwards, J. Winsome, Vernon, J.P., Geraldine Bennett, good night to you. Andrea Burke, say good night. Again, a topic, teacher and classmates. Big up on yourself. George Geraldine Bennett, say good night, teacher and classmates. Miss class today, but we'll catch you. Make sure you watch it back as it is lovely. Maisie Jones, say good night. We ain't say God are God, the Father of creation. Now, true, you talk, we in general, are God run things around here. Big up yourself. And it's a teacher is that penicillin singing. When I know who's singing, you know, when I know who's singing, it is from the gospel concert. You can find it over at Jimmy JA60 Prayers Gospel Concert, August 4th, 2022. So if you want to watch it, you can go over. It's on PBCJ Jamaica. It's on PBCJ Jamaica. And, it, and the title of the video is JA60 Jamaica Prayers Concert. August 4, 2022. You can watch the video if you are interested. All right? Let me just continue. Curtis says something. I'm a moderator. Them fixing business. Lovely. I don't know what Curtis said, but my moderator. Them start fixing from early. Big up Herbert. To Zaline Charming. Edwards. JP say your bravery for being on that program today. As teacher says. Big up on yourself. Big up on yourself. I was going to big up. Big up. Big up Carol Allen. Big up yourself. Sexy fat. Big up on yourself, everybody. Curtis say, we ain't say, Curtis, next time you get black. Tell him, tell him, tell him. I never know where he say, but I'm glad they start fix them way. And Courtney Walker say, big up a topic. JP say, up, 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 man. The people, them fight you tooth and nail, you know. They will never change their so we will with misinformation. Big up on yourself, big up on yourself. Meline Bowman, good night to you. Big Bossy, big good, good night to you. Sheila Wallace, good night to you. Beverly Alexander, good night to you. Adeline Smith, good night to you. Big up on yourself. Florida Sonia, big up on yourself. Everybody big up on yourself. Welcome to Jamaica, our topic. My boys and subscribers, <clears throat> when you know over this class, you know, we take time. Travel. So, may I wonder if I first start off the class with something to make you laugh. Are the one get done in the serious lesson? Talk to me, my viewers and subscribers. I want to ask you a question because you see, over this program, remember that you also run the program over here. So I want to ask you a question quick and fast. Would you like me to, to show you something that will make you laugh? Would you like something, you know, it, it, it not, have nothing to relate to government nor whatever. It is just something that I found quite funny. And I don't know if you would like me to share it with you. You know, as a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and share it, my viewers and subscribers. Let me just go ahead and share it. And then we are going to move directly in a serious business. But we have, we have to go laugh about something first. Can you see, if we're going to laugh, we are going to stress out. And we can't stress out. So guess what? We are going to laugh. So let me just fix this right here. Hold on, my viewers and subscribers. This is double. Let me put this right here. So, all right. The first picture that I'm going to be putting on the screen, my viewers and subscribers, is something I saw in the Jamaica Star. And you know, so the star, sometimes I can't take the star seriously, you know, my viewers and subscribers, because some things that I see in the star is bare drama ever in the star. That is the Jamaican star, the newspaper. Anyway, I saw this in the star, my viewers and subscribers, and I said, but wait, you know, let me share it with my students and make a laugh for just a, a few moments. My viewers and subscribers, I ask you to pause your attention and look upon the title of this article right here. So, wait, my viewers and subscribers, you know, we are going to get, get directly in a serious business, you know, but you know, so we normally go about one, three or two hours. So, let me stretch the class a little bit. Come on, man. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, when you look here, so when you look upon this article right as a feminine. My viewers and subscribers, good night to everybody who is just coming in. Pauline McKay, good night. Wagwan. Big up yourself, Pauline. J says serious lesson. G said J says serious lesson, but whatever. Let me just show this first. J uh, Juliet said, Yes, I would love it. Judith Love Parks, big up yourself. Jenny said laugh first. 
Sister Edwards, welcome, Sister Edwards. Call you a big up, Paul. In Chile and see if laugh out loud. I love my moderator. Them, you know, them guys catch things quick. Big up yourself. Juliet Jackson, I'm a week. My viewers and subscribers, I could just look have a little one minute worth of laugh. When you look on the screen, from the Jamaica star, farmer gets charged with cutting up ex girlfriend panty. <laughs> Lord Jesus, my viewers and subscribers, you know, tell me the truth now. For a big man level now, I'm for a big man level, my viewers and subscribers. What is really happening? The man get charged with cut up him ex girlfriend panty. So, what kind of charge are you going to get? Destruction of private property? May I ask a question, my viewers and subscribers? If he, if him get what? Farmer charge. What kind of charge is he going to get? <laughs> <laughs> my viewers and subscribers, I know I'm not serious, let's see, you know. But I have to talk to you, because you know, so I know I have a different rappings. I you know, so I'm just real with you over here as true as possible. My viewers and subscribers, I ask you a question, and I want you to type in the comments and tell me what kind of charge is the man, why are you going to charge him for destruction of private property? Tell me now. And a panty, how much do panty them cost so much? How much does the panty cost? My viewers and subscribers, no man. Let me read this. Julia Jackson says she's weak. No, Sir Paul, let's say, is what? She never want. Let her have some cut it off. I don't know, no Paul, I don't know if I choose she never want to give him the good up. The man say, I'm going to cut up the panty them. But he's not cut it off for her. I must have five, him say, ex panties. Panties, you know, Pauline. In a, in a, in a pal, palette, he never said panty. It's a panties. So it means more than one in the plural. Juliet Love Park said, Good night, teacher. I want to know. I want my ears to say what Chuck warm. I can't believe. We soon talk about Chuck. Jay said, What the panty do him now? I don't know what the panty do him. Juliet Ball out murder. Larry said, Laugh out loud. Boss said, Big up Pauline. Pauline she did with laugh. Charmian said, That's a joke. I'm not joking. It's a sign of the star, my friend. I'm going to read a little bit of it for you. Know? And I said, I'm just a. But just for charge, huh? Because him can't get her to cut up him road. Where you say you upset with him? My brothers and subscribers, me gonna ask you a question. All those who believe say him forget charge to cut up the panty them say yes him forget charge. And all who believe say him no forget charge say him no forget charge. Because this is the panty affair. We have to talk about the panty affair first, ladies. No, for you know, all of the ladies they must know about this panty. If you and the man vex for whatever reason, him cut up your panty. You go and call police for the man for cut up your panty. We want to know. <laughs> Murder. Lord Jesus, I don't know why I start with this. JC, a madman that Pauline said, dead with love. No, sir. Wonder what the panty do him. We are going to read what the panty do him. Now this is a cartel of a panty song, you know how it go again. Me know. Shelly and see if it's a laugh all out dead with laugh for a week. Well, and they may have to read this a week. Teacher, cut up panty. Viva dead with laugh. Kali, dead with laugh. Kali say, woe. You let say, them for make him sew them back together for punishment. I suppose the man can't sew. So you that want panty when man cut up his. <laughs> Lord Jesus, this is really something for laugh out about to you know my viewers and subscribers. I tell you the honest truth. Sister Edwards are in by those. We are going to find out soon. Wait, we are going to find out. Somebody said, bless up once more at topic. Simone Beckford said, cartel said, no dirty pant. Oh, no dirty pant. No dirty panty. No dirty panty. Make sure that are there. Not for your auntie. If you are Christian, that's the fit holy. Fever for the football net. You are goalie. No dirty panty. No dirty panty. You yeah, know that song the by cartel, man. But just remember, now this is a destruction of personal property. Lord Jesus. Genesis said the man full of demons. Oh, the man full of demons. Oh, him full of demons to so cut up the panty them. Jay said the judge mad to me. Why? Me would have, if I me had the police and them come, would have said, lady, go make the man buy back your panty and that city, yeah, man. Now they are dead with laughs. Say Simone. Now Simone say, oh, with Simone song. Raymond say, I will take news like this any day other than news of violence. Still, I show my viewers and subscribers. I bet I will laugh about this. That year about how much people are lose them life. And we're going to talk about how much people lose them life in you know, my viewers and subscribers. We are going to talk about how much people lost their life. But make we laugh first. 
So I said, the man tired of the bingo, Jesus Christ. So I leave them. Leave. So if the man tired of the bingo, buy our two French cut, then our, our G string, and say, come in, baby. Because if me have my woman, I'm tired of the, 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 the bingo, and she now waiting in the, the bingo. Me, I go buy what I want her to wear and carry it. Come. Yes. Anyway, Andrew Berg said 100%. Now this as long as him buy them back straight up, say. Luckily, he did not like the police did. And scotch bonnet the essential area of the man's whole covers. You know, easy, you know, Lana said, no. Kali said, wonder if she was ex before or after the incident. I don't know. Larry Beckford said, charge him for them. Charge him for what? Juliet, laugh out loud. Joanne, she laugh out loud. You know, easy, you know. No, sir. Charmaine said, is him by them? He should be ashamed. Charge him. And just say, enough, panty that. Sexy fat say, oh lord, Juliet say, I must him buy them. I since inside Jamaican alone, it happened. And the Jamaican alone, I'm in America too. Shelly and say, why call police? Cut up back few at him underpants. Funny door, you know, easy, you know, very funny door. Early in say, Satan, you can't prevail. We ain't say, who buy them? Jamie said, the judge is going to make him pay for them. Carmelita Curry said the man want panty less. Oh, big up yourself, Carmelita. The first me seeing at the class. Welcome, students. Carmelita say the man say more panty less. But anyway, let me just pull the little of information that we have. And the article reads as follows: A livestock farmer firmly maintained his innocence on Monday in the Kingston and Saint Andrew Parish Court, where he faced allegations of destroying five of his ex-girl panty during an argument. My viewers and subscribers, five of the panty them. Five of the panty. My viewers and subscribers, talk to me now. If you want to hear the full story, tell me quick and fast or if I must get in at the lesson type quick. Come on, my viewers and subscribers, and talk to me and make me hear. Talk to me quick and fast. Come, 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 come. If you know what, hear about the panty business look a bit. Because sometimes you have to laugh in my viewers and subscribers. The amount of stress and all kind of judgment in Jamaica. Sometimes you have to find some things to laugh about. Because the amount of people will lose their life. If people did really, I did a laugh. So, you know what I mean? The country would have better. But anyway, so I have done find it in my viewers and subscribers. So, let me just read it right here. So, it says, let me read. It says, Javon Gale, and this is from the star, it says, Javon Gale is charged on an indictment for one count of malicious destruction of property. Rat it, cop. Murder. <laughs> Whoa. My friends and subscribers, you hear that? Me did tell you, you know, me say me never read the article. I just, me just go look on the article, my friends and subscribers, and see it say, them said the man get charged for malicious destruction of property. And that the article, only can go look in a Jamaica star, you know, it said that the man was charged for malicious destruction of rotted cup. My viewers and subscribers, you know, listen to what me I say. Big up everybody who just are coming at the class. Big up everybody, Ivan Wallace, big up Juliet Campbell, big up Simone Beckford, Carol Allen, everybody who are just coming at the class. Big up to you know, Mr. G, enough, enough things, my viewers and subscribers, uh, Michelle Johnson, Charmy and Edwards. Well, I'm soon getting another lesson, man. But let me read this, my viewers and subscribers. Raheem Gentles, big up and blessings to you. My viewers and subscribers, me, I have to just hurry up and read this article quick and quick and fast. I'm murdered for two parley and them said the man was charged with malicious destruction of property. Trim cut up the panty then. From my barn, I never hear this. My viewers and subscribers, you know, you know, I am glad. My viewers and subscribers, let me tell you, you see, sometimes... The father lead. As someone was a father, gotta lead me. No, no, watch the face. My viewers and subscribers. As someone was a father lead. Let me tell you why. I didn't want. You know, I said I would share this. Was going to share this story, and I was pondering. But then, you know, I asked you if you wanted, and someone said yes, and I want it. So I'm share the story. That means the story, the story was supposed to be shared. I know. So while me I share the story, I may, I may attack or the judge charge him for malicious destruction of property. It reminded me that I have another big story that I want to talk to you about. And it also includes a judge. And I did not remember. So it's a good thing some draw for this. I can't believe I draw for this. I would remember the other big story. 
That's why I tell you, big up Father God can so things hard in sometimes. Because guess what? If I never talk about this, I don't think I would remember the other story. But we are going to finish read this, my viewers and subscribers, and we are going to talk. Yes, we ain't said the man tired to take them off. Raymond Serratid copy him of my surname too. Yes, him have your surname again. I'm surname. Shall I see me say we call police a five panty? No, no, no. Sir, yes, teacher, talk more about it. Do let's say I wonder the police them want to investigate. When to investigate, Kali say, farmer no want bada come cultivate using what him buy. You know, easy you no. Know, even say he was malicious to the pant. Malicious. How can you be malicious to panties? No, tell the truth, Yvan. How can you be malicious to panty? My viewers and subscribers, wanna please like up the life for me, no man. This a this a this a class a nice man. Wanna please like up the life for me. Do let's say the panties stand stand up in his way. I don't know if the panties stand up in his way. We are gonna find out. And Jebrek said, I know he will be charged. It's a big charge too. The judge is saying it could be her. No, I no, 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 not not a panty the man wait name there because if the man did want to do or anything, the man would have do or anything. The panty the man have a grievance with the panty. The panty. Somebody type panty in the comments, you know. But let me go ahead and read the story for you, alright? <laughs> Juliet Jackson are dead with law. Let me let me finish reading it. Let me read the story again. It says Javon Gale is charged on an indictment for one count of malicious destruction of property. <laughs> <laughs> and your Burke, same cut up. Pretty, pretty, good night. Well, go on, pretty, pretty. Big up yourself. Sexy fat say murder. Juliet Jackson say panty. Here we and him now, because we love them panty argument. Here we and. So, what happened when him a beat up the one eye property? She did call the police, then where is the one eye property? Yes, so you win a beer, mix up your top boat, you know. Big up yourself. But anyway, let me read it. It says, in addition to the underwear, listen to this now, listen to the part here. It says, in addition to the underwear, he is accused of destroying a remote and SIM card which also belonged to the complainant. So he cut up the panty them and he destroy one remote where you use either the fan remote or the TV remote. He destroy a remote and him destroy a SIM card. So, if you are an investigator, I you start put a case together. And the three clues where you have is panty get cut up, remote get mash up, and SIM card get mash up. It sound like, say, the man don't want her to wear the panty that him buy. Him don't want her to watch no TV or no or, or, or get no no ear from the fan when by so I mash up the remote and he mash up the sim card cause maybe I in by the sim card and mana call her upon the sim card. That is what I assume from this little argument that I hear so far. I don't know, I might be wrong, I might be right. Let me continue reading the story. But Gail who has not retained legal representative is adamant that he did not destroy the panties. <laughs> Murder! My brothers and subscribers, the man not deny say him, him mash up the remote, you know. My brothers and subscribers, well on students, because we're going to take time going out the class. Can one bright student type for me the three things them said the man mash up? Somebody type... Five panties, remote, and SIM card. Me a big one of the students and just type in at the comments to me so me can pin it up in at the top. Somebody type in at the comments to me. Five panties, one remote, and one SIM card. Somebody just type that in at the comments to me now, please. Please, me a beg you. Please, 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 me a beg on a quick and fast student. Make I just bless you up. Because we are going to examine that case I like Matt Lack. We are going to examine that case I like Matt Lack. Ivan say he handed them with malice. You know, handled them with malice. Now they said the poor man buy the panty them and the next man I take them off. It could be. But heaven say a topic bless up. Sean all give it semi late. Who the panties belong to? The panties belong to him, girlfriend. <laughs> Geraldine said, I can bet he never bought one. Well, we are gonna find out if him buy them or not. Juliet are dead with laugh. Kali says, So Jamaica a topic. What could the panties have done to him? We are gonna find out. Pretty pretty say bless up. <laughs> 
my nice clean teacher. Big up yourself, pretty, pretty man. Big up yourself to the world, you know? So, uh, Sister Edward said, because it, it can't fit him. Straight up said, he was jealous. We are going straight up, straight up said, he was jealous of the baggies because they were touching what he wanted to touch and he could not get touched and could not get touched. Yeah, mix up, you know, now they say, him by all of them. Juliet, a laugh. Juliet, say, that's a nice, even a laugh. Cooking with Elaine, say, good. Come on, the students, man. Pretty, pretty, say, wait, him. The Jay say, maybe he's a China panty. All right, Simone. Thank you so much, Simone. Let us give you a round of applause. My viewers and subscribers, let us examine it. Jay said, maybe is the China panty with the chip in it. I don't know. So on your screen, my viewers and subscribers, Simone Beckford wrote it. Welcome, Janet Lizzie. Yeah, welcome, Marie Lizzie, to the class. And welcome, Janet Buchanan Alamo. So listen now. So I pinned it to the class. It says that the man, the allegations are that the man destroy five panty. Him destroy a remote and him destroy a SIM card. Alright? The allegations are that him destroy five panty. Him destroy the remote and him destroy the SIM card. But my viewers and subscribers, the man are denied. Say him not deny. He say him not cut up no panty. The man say, the, the man could have said, yes, me mash up the remote, and yes, well, let me read the article, let me not jump the gun. Listen what the article say now. The article say, let me repeat it. The man said, in addition to the underwear, he is the accused of destroying a remote and SIM card, which also belong to the complainant. It says, but Gail, who has not retained legal representative, is adamant that he did not destroy the panty. So the man said, him not... I know him destroyed the panty. We are gonna find out some more. Here we him say, here, here we him say, him say, I told her, this is what the man say, no. The man say, and I re, and I read, and I quote, I told her I wanted my clothes. And she said to do anything that I want. I went into the drawer and the remote fell and broke. It in half. And the SIM card. Well, Andy, well, Andy, my brothers and subscribers. Brother, this is argument and not sound right already. This is uh, me now, like me general. I now pick up for you, yeah, man. And maybe for you by the panty, then you could have said you want back your panty. But the argument and not sound right. My brothers and subscribers, listen to what the man say, no. The man said, I told her I wanted my clothes. And she said to do anything I want. I went into the drawer. And the remote fell and broke it in half. And the SIM card was on the dresser. And I break it in half. Listen to the part in the world. I don't know if I say no, my brother, subscribe. Let me read it for now again. Just let me listen to you for now again. Him say, him say, I told her I wore my clothes. Right? And she said to do anything where him want. And him say, went into the drawer. And the remote fell. Oh, oh, listen to this now. Him say, I went into the drawer and the remote fell. So I'm going at the drawer and the remote fell. Hear the part of him say no? And I broke it in half. So I'm agree, say, I'm going at the drawer, the remote fell. Could it be that I'm going at the drawer and the remote fell and him upset and him just mash it up? Because what he's saying that I went into the drawer and the remote fell and I broke it in half. That's the way I'm saying. And I'm saying, and the SIM card was on the dresser and I break it in half. Yes. So basically what he must say is that I go him go in at the dresser and the remote drop and then him take it up and mash it up. And him say, him deliberately, him say the SIM card was on the dresser and I break it in half. So he is agreeing after that. Somebody say I'm spiteful. Well, I'm a viewers and subscribers. I don't know where I'm going. So well, I'm there. Well, I make a up and find this back here. So, well, I know my viewers and subscribers. When you be here with me, somebody say I'm spiteful. Big up early in Edwards. Big up everybody where I just are coming at the class. Carla Harton, Marine Slough, Claudia, everybody who is just coming at the class. Big up on yourself. Kali said, Jamaica, a topic. You flag in the comments on this topic. Kali, you can do that, you know. Remember, so I can't do everything because I focus on five screen. So, remember, so I'm the moderator, so I'm going to duty for flag and do whatever. Well, I'm my viewers and subscribers. Bear with me a quick second there. Eh? I don't know which part of the information gone right there. So wait there. 
Are you hearing me, my viewers and subscribers? If you're hearing me, type okay, okay. Shelly and say, laugh out loud. I'm confused with this teacher. What, what are you confused about? What are you confused about, about, about Shelly? Let me just read the part there again. The man said, I told her I wore my clothes. And she said to do anything that I want. I went into the drawer. And the remote fell. And I broke it in half. And the SIM card was on the dresser. And I break it in half, he explained. The complainant, however, provided her account of the incident to the judge, uh, to senior parish judge, Lorian Cole Mont Montague. Listen what it said. He took them, listen, the woman of the fair side of the story, you know. Welcome to Altia uh, Johnson, Marva Dice. Everybody was just coming, Andrea White. Everybody, listen, listen what the man said. Listen what the complainant said that the woman. She said, he took them, that is the underwear, out of the drawer and cut them up. And he fling with my phone in the wall, the complainant said, before informing the judge that she would settle for $30,000 in compensation. But my viewers and subscribers, me want to ask another question because we are looking on two sides of the story. Big up yourself to win some daily. Everybody who are coming at the class, big up on yourself. Listen what she say now. She said, he took them up, that is the underwear, out the drawer, and him cut them up. So she said, I'm going at the drawer, take out her panty them and cut them up. She said, then he fling my phone in the wall. But we never hear... No charge us up about no cell phone. So if him fling the cell phone in at the wall, or we not hear you ask for compensation for the cell phone. We hear you asking compensation for the SIM card, but he must say the SIM card did dip on the dresser. In my viewers and subscribers, how that one they go go now? How that one they go go? Tell me the truth now. Good night, Rosalind Phillips. How you doing? Big up yourself, man. Raheem Gentles, Mr. Take you Back. When you say Mr. Take you Back, Julia Jackson say him get vexed and tell her say him go cut up every drawers for him buy. That's why I'm going to the draw. When you say you believe say I'm going to the draw and tell her say him go cut up every drawers for him buy because of fee money. That's what you think. But listen what she said. She said he took them, that is the underwear out the draw and cut them up and then he fling my phone in the wall. So how many area asks for, for the phone Marie Lisa said, teacher, can you imagine the panty argument in court? Courthouse must mash up with laughter. Well, courthouse must mash up with laughter because Jamaica at topic class and mash up with laughter. Simone says something not adding. It's not adding up, Simone. But anyway, you know, this, we hear, hear we straight up say, lesson is, never buy a, never buy bag for a wild puss before you are not, what? Let me read that one. Lesson is, never buy, never buy bag for a wild puss before you are sure that it's yours. You know, easy, you know, what you say? <laughs> My friends are subscribers, you know, straight up say, you must never buy a bag for a wild puss before you are sure that it's yours. Yeah, mix up, you know, but my brothers and subscribers, you know, this is such a funny story. Let me just repeat it one last time. The lady, when she was telling the judge fair side of the story, she said, he took them, that is the underwear out the drawer, and cut them up. Then he fling my phone in the wall. The complainant said. Before informing the judge. That she would settle for $30,000 in compensation. Hear, hear the part now. Hear what him say. That includes the panties. <laughs> my brothers and subscribers. When she don't tell the judge. Say yes judge. I want $30,000. The man Mr. Gill ball out. That includes the panties. Rot it cup, hear him. I have uh, my friends and subscribers. The man asked the woman, said the 30 toys where she asked for if it include the panty. Because the man said, if it include the panty, then me not pay for them. I'll tell you, so mama, man, it's not easy. You know, Herbert said if he was in Florida and she called the sheriff, he would lock up. But them lock him up, you know, see them charge him. Andrea Bergson, remember, the star don't carry story straight, the star carry the drama story. That's what I realized. 
Rosalie said that man is very spiteful, Mr. Techie. <laughs> Mr. Techie back. That's why. <laughs> That's why you did all those things. I tell some mama man, Paulina, David Love, Herbert said, I'm glad me never rub scratch bush on them. Oh, Herbert said, I'm glad they never rub scratch bush on them. Okay. Well, he said, she's glad for that. Juliet said, What? He might want real big skirt. Kali said, Jamaica Atafi, did he get charged for the SIM card and the remote too? Yes. Him get charged for the SIM. That's why the judge said $30,000. Listen, let me repeat what happened now again. This is the way it said. It says, the complainant, however, provided her account of the incident to the judge. And this is what the lady said. The lady said, and I quote, he took them, that is the underwear, out of the drawer, cut them up. Then he fling my phone in the wall. The complainant said, before informing the judge that she would settle for $30,000 in compensation. So she had tell the judge, said, yes, you want me to $30,000 if you are panty them. Yes, the thirty thousand dollar fair SIM card and the thirty thousand dollar fair fair remote. But while she says so, the man ball out say that include the panties. My friends, I subscribe, but this is money I want sample for you, you know. Mister, the man ball out say that include the panties. And you know, the judge, the judge say I have only noted you pleading guilty for the remote and the SIM card, sir. The judge replied. Gail then indicated to the court that he would be willing to make restitution. The figure for compensation noted by the judge was $40,000 and Gail is to begin making payments on January 11, 2024. The matter was adjourned for sentencing. So there you go, my viewers and subscribers. The man said, he might go, go pay, any, 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 pay it because, you know, if I him touch the, the, the panty... <laughs> Lord Jesus, save your pile at me. No, man. I appear mad people in Jamaica, you know. Remember me tell you, say, I appear mad people in Jamaica. If, if me tell you, say, if there's nowhere else in the world where you have some set of mad people, when you remember me, I say, Jamaica have some set of mad people, my viewers and subscribers. Well, the judge said, for pay the $40,000. So the $40,000 include the panty, the remote, and the SIM card. So... That's it. So do you believe that that, that forty thousand dollars enough was for the panty to remote and the SIM card? Do you think that him should pay for the panties? That is the question that I'm asking my viewers and subscribers. Do you think that he should pay for the panties? Yes or no? My viewers and subscribers, I'm going to talk about this other topic. And you know, we just laughed a while ago, but now we're going to get upset. You hear what I say, my viewers and subscribers? We just laughed about an incident that happened in the courtroom. But now, my viewers and subscribers, a lot of you are going to get upset right now. Raymond said, look what him bring on the Gale clan now. Lord Jesus, so he said, you're Gale too. And the man bring take you back by your Gale family. By your Gale last name. Juliet Jackson, I laugh. Calligraphy, I laugh. Ivan said, dragging the family name into panty business. Yes, you might put Raymond family name in a panty business. Take you back as a matter of that. Take it back as a matter of that, Lord Jesus. And your own say real sample, man. And who else says something now? Herbert say happy birthday, Portia. Yes, we'll be go Portia birthday already. And your birth, so remember the phone. To now I'm never remember. She never saw her phone this try. She said the, she said the panty get cut up. The remote mash up and the SIM card. We never hear them say nothing about weight name there. But my viewers and subscribers, I we just laughed about a courthouse incident. But now I'm sure you're going to get upset. My viewers and subscribers, when you look, when you look on the screen right here. So look at the screen. Two years prison sentence for the man who stole planting from school farm. You hear what some my viewers and subscribers? Two years prison sentence for man who stole planting from school farm. Ivan Wallace said, La little laugh is good. Yes, Ivan, little laugh is good. So especially since you say little laugh is good, Ivan, I want to ask you this question now, Ivan. What do you have to say about this now? 
We just are laughing and it's a reason why we're laughing you know, because now we're going to get upset. My viewers and subscribers, I'm asking each and every one of you a question. What say you on this matter? Hey, man, I say good night, teacher. I don't want to rush uh, your class, but I'm asking if you hear about the goal, then fine. Who, where you get the information from? Which news station it come from? If it's a blog I come from, I'm not too sure about it. I'm not hear the information. I saw some information circulating about that, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about the authenticity of it. But I want to see the government come out and say, yeah, them find it. Which part of the information they come from? But anyway, I ban it. Just text me. I will talk about that. I will talk about it later. My viewers and subscribers, and look at what is happening now. Hmm? I'm asking a question, my viewers and subscribers. I'm asking you all a question. Look on your screen, students. Two-year prison sentence for man who stole pl planting from a farm. Planting. Gee, my viewers and subscribers. Planting. Planting where grow up on tree. No, to write it. Come, I've got to find one picture for one plant. Because it couldn't be at the said plant where we know my viewers and subscribers, this, what kind of planting is this? I'm going to ask you a question. What kind of planting is this? The man called a thief. Judith Love Park said, under the peer mismanagement, the people they must get in crazy and crazier. Now they say this is ridiculous. Even say, oh my God, this is why the people are going crazy in Jamaica. Nearly say, how much your cruel read i go get for school money that is a question we want my viewers and subscribers more i talk to you know George campus and cruel read who stole millions still on the road walk my viewers and subscribers my viewers and subscribers me there are two things me i go ask you know what kind of planting did he steal me want to ask you now question you know what kind of plant the man steal My viewers and subscribers, well on there, man. Well on there. Let me just find out something there. Will you be, bear with me for a second, my viewers and subscribers? Bear with me there. Bear with me there, my viewers and subscribers. Will you bear with me a second there? Just bear with me, students. And please remember to like up the live. Can I go find out something quick and fast, right? That's all. Bear with me, my viewers and subscribers. And bear with me one quick second there. Because something to write here, so my viewers and subscribers. Something can never write here, so. I want to ask another question, my viewers and subscribers. And hold on there. Well, I want you just want to find something. Just bear with, <coughs> bear with me a second, my viewers and subscribers. All right, hold on, my viewers and subscribers. See, I know. <coughs> Bear with me, my viewers and subscribers. Good night to everyone who is just coming into the class. Good night to you, one and all. Good night. <coughs> Good night to you, one and all, students. And hold on there. Because something not really right as some of viewers and subscribers. Something can't write. Because <coughs> something definitely cannot write. My viewers and subscribers, I said something cannot write. Some, there is no way in the world. Well, on there, my viewers and subscribers. Well, on there, well, on there, well, on there. I want to show you something. Well, on there. I want to bear with me. I have to take the time for showing you, you know. No, man, I have to take the time for showing you, man. You know, well, on there, man. You know, I have to show you anything over here, my viewers and subscribers. I want to bear with me a second there, yeah. Cause it can't write. Sit me can't write my subscribers. We have to find out something I know. Hold on them. Hold on them. I could dig a little bit there. Hold on. Bear with me the members and subscribers. One minute there. Could this be 
that there is more to this than meets the eye. We we that's the reason why. Well, I'm a viewer and subscriber. I'll make sure I put a topic side of your song. And I want to ask you, my fellow Jamaican, how did you plant the money I get two years for Jamaica? The world. Oh no, look pan on the screen. Look pan on the screen. A them the plant no we grow up on tree. Them the Lord Jesus, my brothers and subscribers. The rich get rich and the poor get poor. My brothers and subscribers, I am asking. And somebody tell me can it look like tonight me want look rice water. My viewers and subscribers, you know, say it look like a me want some rice water. Will you tell me now? Me look like me want some rice water tonight, my viewers and subscribers, because up to now, me can't come to terms with this. So, so you have people. Who have done other worse crimes. All kind of so my viewers and subscribers. This man never harmed nobody you know. The man never hurt nobody you know. No life was lost you know. Well I may have to read like the article for you. Well I may make, well, make a read like a bit of so car. Well I need my viewers and subscribers. Because we really need to go see what they go on. So well I need. Me can push the banana with the plant on one side. Make a hear what article over there so. Because we have to read this article here. Listen what the article say. Let me push it over here as a reminder. As I ban, as I plant them lock up a man for. It says, A St. Catherine man who pleaded guilty to stealing plantains from the farm at Guy's... Guy's... Oh, is it high, oh, I don't think this is Guy's Hill. But it's a Guy's High School. I don't know if it's Guy's Hill. I don't know which high school name Guy's. But anyway, let me read it. It says, A St. Catherine man who pleaded guilty to stealing plantains from the farm at Guy's High School in the parish, was today sentenced to two years in prison. Rohan Griffiths, otherwise called Little Dread, of Ragsville in Guy's Hill, or Guy's Hill, no matter about. I think it should have been Guy's Hill High School, but they made a mistake because they only have Guy's High School there. It says Rohan Griffiths, otherwise called Little Dread, of Ragsville in Guy's Hill, had confessed to a charge of prayer larceny. The court heard that about 1.30 a.m. on September 17, Griffith was accosted at the school's farm with several bunches of plantains. The police were called in and he was arrested. He was later charged with prayer last in the following a question and answer setter. So my viewers and subscribers, I would have asked this judge a question because they said that the judge decision must be respected whether you agree or not oh i may hear some people attack said gold fine in a clarendon from remember long remember the other day wasn't it in clarendon or someplace the other day them said something about gold rush a whole heap of people did find gold remember that about last year or early this year there was a situation where them said gold fine in a clarendon anybody did remember and everybody that kill up themselves and when they check it out all police it come on the scene too and when they check it out it wasn't goal could it be that same area i don't know my viewers and subscribers we have to explore some more and anybody who know about the goal issue you have my whatsapp number send me one whatsapp number or later me take a look at it but my viewers and subscribers let us get back directly down into this now if i was a judge in this case my viewers and subscribers the first thing i would ask the man is sir you stole the plantings at the school farm. Yes, we know that maybe the children perhaps planted the, 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 the plants. Or maybe the, the, the school teachers perhaps planted the plants. We know that it was a, we, we know that it was a wicked act that you done and it shouldn't have been done. But I would have found other ways and means. The first thing would have said to him, say, Sir, you have two options here. Either you pay back the money for the planting or you go back to town go buy back some planting and carry come back 
come give to the school. So they, if them say a thief 30 planting, go find the money and buy back 30 planting to bring. Come here. You understand? Or you say to him, say, I'm going to give you some community work for go clean up the school, clean up the bathroom, clean the floor, scrub everywhere. Scrape down the yard, and if you ever thief a pencil, I send you go for 50 years. If I would have judged, I would have given him some other lesser, some other lesser punishment. May I ask you a question now? So if you go make the man sit down in a two, two in a two years, you see the sit down there two years. The man I go sit down there and him and and, and him I go eat food at prison. I'm not talking because the people them say prison food, though prison food not nice. You understand it's not like them in that eat apple berry and 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 and, 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 and caviar and steak and all kind of something. But anyway, he's going to go in there and he's going to eat food. And the little food we're going to eat over the two years, it is going to add up to a value that is more than the two, more than the, the bunch of plant we him take. Pretty, pretty sick community service. Yes, give him some community service or something. The first thing we're making for do is for him to find, is to right the wrong. So him teeth the plant them. I would have asked him to replace the blinking plant them or your teeth. So if a 50 plant you take, I bought said not just gold, copper too, or we found oil. I heard something about that about the oil, you know. When you find the information, just send it to me and, and tonight me will run through it and do a, a, a session tomorrow. But for now, I really can't focus on it because I don't have any information. I would love to see a picture or a video with them saying, yes, the goal here will find the goal, you know? Anybody have a picture like that can send it to me directly. No, but the question, no, this is too much. This is too much. This way exceeds the crime to me, my viewers and subscribers. Because if you hungry and thief, it is the same way the man who pick Aki up by the governor general office. Remember the man who pick Aki up by the governor general office and he was also sentenced. He was also sentenced. So I want to ask this court. I want to love sentence people, sir. Don't you believe in community service? You believe sending into people to prison in any sort of rehabilitation? Do you think sending them to prison will make them sorry for what they have done? They will begin to hate the system. Do you think that two years is a reasonable sentence? My viewers are subscribers for teeth in some plantings. Carly says, so he was taking several bunches. That's greed and far more than he can consume. Well, for whatever reason, whether greed or whatever, whatever, whatever. But the question we're asking is that the punishment must meet the crime. And if you agree, say yes. I'm waiting there. What, what, what is this now? Somebody said no, teacher. Mr. G said the judge should just charge him and not sentence him to prison. Charge him for true and make him pay one fine. Pauline say, how about the Golan Island? Talk your mind. As me as my viewers and subscribers, only know how Jamaica a topic going. I don't run with the ears say. Only supposed to know how Jamaica a topic go. <clears throat> how me work is that me want to see one document or me want to see the government get a release or JIS or PBCJ. So the government of Jamaica has found oil in Clarendon. And the government has found oil and, 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 and gold in current. I stop me want to say, I now run with the ears of my viewers and subscribers. So I want one of you guys where have the proof say gold finding at Jamaica. Send it to me. I think I ban here, somebody said they hear it in the in the in the, in a parliament. Say something. Wanna send it to me? Let me hear that part there. I haven't heard it, so I can't discuss it, my viewers and subscribers. Wanna know how the program work over here. When me talk pan topic, me like have the facts are shown. It's a student seat here. I saw it go. So in case nobody I get account all accountable for the misinformation, it's not me. Because me I produce information from what is supposed to be a credible source. So you understand what I mean, my viewers and subscribers. So if gold is found in Claren in, 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 in Clarendon, Jamaica, that is really good. But we would want to see the proof. I would love to see a video where somebody from the authority come out and say, yes. Yes, CTA Jamaica has found gold. 
That is what I would want to see, but with the exception of that, I don't want to see it, my viewers and subscribers. I want to see the Minister of Commerce or one of them places, the Minister of Agriculture, one of them people that come out and say, yes, we'll find gold in Jamaica. We want to see some credible source come and talk about it. And if I don't see a video, unfortunately, I can't. Plain and simple. Gene Wright said, well, maybe him have a big family. I'll go sell him. Sell him, huh? Sell him, sell it to send him pick them. To send him pick guy them go to school. So it's if I say two years for free and don't have to steal any more of any more. This is Jamaica teacher. That's a wickedness still. JP said, we in Evans, which government will be governing over such resources? Well, I'm going to I'm going to say, <clears throat> sent it to your teacher. <clears throat> okay. And they said them so have to stop prison people for thief because a pure thief I got there at Jamaica because people hungry. Oh me understand what you say. Maria will say why don't gold be in Jamaica? Why wouldn't gold be in Jamaica? The Spanish came there because there was plenty of gold in the New World. As I talk about gold, you know, which part I think gold there over Port Royal. Remember, say Port Royal was sunk. Remember, say Wally Pa Port Royal still underwater, you know. I remember some pure psh, pirates used to die at Port Royal, you know. So I believe that there's gold over Port Royal. I believe that there is gold over Port Royal. That's what I believe. I might be wrong, but that's just what my mind telling me based on the history. Because remember, say Port Royal was one of the richest histories. Was one of the richest countries or places in the world because Port Royal was very popular. Very, very popular in the early years, my viewers and subscribers. And it was known for a place to the rich and famous. I remember that Port Royal was struck by an earthquake. And the place sink and the place open up a whole heap of place. And that whole heap of Port Royal, what we're just seeing is part of Port Royal. Most of Port Royal still underwater. So you never might know, say, the, 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 the goal did sink with those people. That's just what I think. Call it Wayne Evans. So can we revisit the earthquake thing again in light of this goal and oil? What's the real cause of the shaking? Okay, yes. You know, and somebody said it to me that in the event they found gold for sure, in the event they found oil, it means that they would have been digging. And in the event they would have been digging, could that have troubled the tectonic plates causing it to shift with the recent earthquakes that we're receiving? That is the question that I'm asking you, my viewers and subscribers. That is also something to look at. Devon Cooper said, make the big nose talk it a topic. Then he just said, he should not steal. The punishment may be harsh, but he obviously wasn't taking them to just eat. There were several bunches. Sorry for him, but he should know. Even if the man are waiting, he's going to take them for sell them furniture. Two years to take for sell two bungla planting. You could have easily give the man one six months. Why two years? You know what is two years out of somebody's life? For two bunch of planting or a few, even for five bunch of planting. Two years is too much. Two years is too much. If I take him, I take the money for go buy smokings and for go gamble. Then he deserve the two years. But if he might go take the money for buy it for him family, for buy food for himself and cook, for buy Roland and toothpaste and maybe send him family go to school. Here. Two years is definitely too much. The crime must fit the punishment and the punishment must fit the crime. That is way too much, my friend, man. I say people... Hurt people with sharp tool. Missy people take all kind of kitchen tool and juke people at them and them neck all over and them get one one year, them get one six months. Missy people going to people house go broke and take TV, bread, fridge, stove, everything and get six months and get one three months. This too, this is way too much. Way too much. Mr. Fox, Mr. Wait name, there's a say, say Facts about that. I bana said that is it. I bana said lots of gold there, but we can't dive for it. It's against the law. Okay. Who say it's against the law? All kind of law broken at Jamaica sister. I mean I know if it's against the law, maybe. Herbert two thousand into last month amendments to the Agriculture Produced Act were passed in the House of Representatives. 
Mr. G said Jamaica first, GG was a pirate. Yes, I true. You even said maybe they are fracking. I don't know what is fracking, sister. The term sounds familiar, but I don't remember what it is. I bought and said, we can dig over there, but it's in the lot. We can't dig over there. It's in the lot, teacher. Okay, I never know. I bought and said, people hungry. Even while well, he said two years is a bit much. If it's his first offense, he should have been sentenced to work on the farm, learning to plant them. Send him go over there. Go make him labor up on the said school where him teeth and tell him, say, man, if your teeth one pencil or a grass, we'll give you five years. Then him forget it. But you could have easily tell him, say, man, if for two years you want to give him then, tell him, say, man, listen to me, man. Go over the school and go give your community service say, two years. Go and report to the principal. Every morning you get up five o'clock or six o'clock out of your bed, come sweep up the school. I know I said the school of groundsmen will do it, but them, them cannot resist that extra help. Any little place they want to touch up, make him scrub the place. Make him scrub the place nice and clean. That would have been a better solution. And you might, you never might know a little bit from this. You might change the ways if a thief, if a thief, the plant them. You might change him thief in ways and start scrub down people place. The judge would have put him to work for scrub down the place. And a little bit from this, him change him ways and member. So him get a, a chance, a second chance in a life. A little bit from this, him start work and scrub and clean people place for a, for a living. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes the punishment must also bring about solutions. Punishment can also bring about solutions because that is a punishment. I know him would have vexed every day him have to get up and go to school, but him have to do it. You have to do it and you make it know say in the event you break this and you don't show up at the school and you're not sick or anything. If you do it two or three times and the principal ever call the court and say court him not coming, remember when I only you get in five years. That's what the judge can say because the judge has the permission to do that. You understand what I'm saying? Gene writes a hot topic. If Canada find goal in Clarendon, Jamaica not be going to benefit from that. So, oh, what did Kenya them find? Well, and the viewers and subscribers, Mr. Jesus, seen is believing, hearing is not. Rosalie Wicked said, that's true, a topic. You should let him go do some community service and teach him. And listen, yes, that's true, and he might learn a skill from it. Well, and the viewers and subscribers, I'm going to be looking at the video to see if me can find. I ban said she send me something. Well, and the viewers and subscribers, you know, bear with me there with the phone there. Lord Jesus, I don't know where the phone is. Well, and the students. Oh God, I'm tired. <clears throat> on the way, I'm find the phone. Well, and the students make a look right, I said, you know. Big up to all of the students that come in my class. If I don't call your name, no watch no face. I show me I work with about three or four screen. So sometimes I might just, you know, run past some comments. But it is not intentional or it is not deliberate. So if you type a comment, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bless you up. I'm going to call your name. No watch no face. It is not deliberate. Just send me one other message again. Even say fracking, the process of injecting liquid high pressure into subterranean rocks, bore holes. Okay, I've heard about it, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. I remember some documentary when I watched about that. Juliet Cam said, remember, Gigi put a man in prison for Aki, okay, wicked, them wicked, wicked, them wicked. The Lord said, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. I know, Mrs. So, you know, and the Bible says so. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Who for have mercy? The man never take nobody three pints. Blessed are the merciful man. For who for have mercy? Gold finding Clarendon for, for C3 metal. Oh, me see this, yeah? This is a C3 metal. The Canadian mining, mining firm said that it found more copper and gold after investing millions this year. And it's Jamaica operation. Well, I may have to bring this to the class now. So let me just read one the cell. We are going to move from this straight up. Said so the wise man advises that whenever you steal in Jamaica, you should steal millions because the bigger. A true, you know, you know who that? Straight up. Straight up. Me can't tell you which man says so. The man down a Portland. One man down a Portland says so. I remember hearing one man. I remember telling my viewers and subscribers that you are talking straight up. There was a bank manager from NCB who must have thief 50 odd million. Anybody remember the lady bank manager from NCB who did thief the money? 
And I remember hearing and hearing, I remember seeing a, a video coming out of the parliament where the man from Portland said, So the lady thief the money and she must get seven years. And him asked the question and said, So let's say that she did teach seven hundred million. How much should I get? And them said they said seven years. And the man said the moral of the story is to thief enough. The man said the moral of the story is to thief enough. I know is which man you talk is the man from Portland. I remember when he made that comment. Mr. G said when him come back from prison, he's going to get worse than before. No rehab. Him good at eight people. I look school, him good at ton pam. Fenny just say I'm not saying he should get two years at top. I'm just saying he should know better. Community service would be a better alternative for sure. I'm wondering how many years the six will get. That I, if them going ever be released, I banner say once again the PM sold us out five percent that government getting. But then no way I talk about a five percent I banner. You have to talk like a straight man. What for five percent? Five percent of what the government getting. Explain a little bit further. They say so why them sent him for two years. And so Man is still don't go to prison for the children money. Sandra said the judge them get buy out for prison poor people. I true. Juliet Campbell so remember that one day even while I remember me read them comments that already. Simone said I tap it me feel so true goal is here. Everybody come need part of Jamaica and that is why Jamaica government has steal it and sell it out. Also that's why brother day. but wait my friends and subscribers, we're gonna look in at the gold matter you know. Jamaica, Cali said, Jamaica, a topic of matter of first, first, second, etc. offense. Two years seems extreme, so he might have a history, maybe. But in the event he doesn't, you know, we still have to rule it out because it is wicked. When say, murder, I sent you the oil video a few weeks ago. Well, you have to send it back to me again, Wayne. Send it back to me. Then Rai say, yes, you are right. Now me into person and the food. Nothing about yes, you were right. No me into person and the food doing nothing about it. Okay. I wanna say it falls under the prayer last in it. Laws can I say yes, volunteer work the judge should give him for stealing plant. Plant the man steal not money. Juliet says only poor people goes to prison under this government. I sure. Pretty pretty the fox teacher to be poor is really a crime. A real thing I thought, man. Pauline said, Oh my god, so sad. Two years enough. JP said, I agree with you, teacher, on that point. Someone would pay the fine for him. Hungry can make people do silly things. That's how you talk. You never might know him of a picnic for go to school or a... I never go sit down and try to defend him. You know what I mean? But two years seems excessive. That's all I have to say. We ain't said one finger per month. <laughs> Murder. We ain't in the easy in our bonnet because we are near the equator. Oh, I have some long time comments them there. Sexy if I said two years, okay. Mm-mm. Let me read some more comments right there. So Yvan says straight up, that is the lesson. Being a stance said, Kanjo and his coins are going to get richer now. They are going to steal every bit of the gold and copper, Jaja, the poor people. But the question that I want to ask you about the gold, and then he said, Tansa, malice is toward the woman. If you destroy someone's property, you can hurt them. Carla Williams say, them wicked, wicked. Maria says, he meant as a Canadian man in firm, so they had to find more copper. And gold at investing millions this year on Jamaica's operation. The Canadian uh, found the metals after saying two rock samples. Well, I'm going to put up the gold business right there, so with them just send me my viewers and subscribers. So we're going to talk about the gold business. And then anybody can talk. And I'm going to open the phone lines and when you can call. When you can call me and tell me and talk about it because I am going to have to. I'm going to have to wait me in there. So one lady I said she'll get her shirt. Murder! My viewers and subscribers, when I will subscribe, I have on her shirt. Lord, my friend. No, my viewers and subscribers, me have got show you this. My friend, I have on her shirt. When you can't chat to her, my friend, I have on her Axe Government t shirt. Well, on there, my friend. Lord Jesus, watch my friend in her Axe Government t shirt. I'm going to go open the phone line, my viewers and subscribers. Gloria, you get your Ask the Government t-shirt. I go home the phone line and all who know about it can talk about it because I never really, I don't really study much panic. I'm mean, not get no information panic yet, so I can not 
But I mean, I think that's so much plant and demand to you. If I would say send me that message, you know, well, I know. What I'm with student, I send me the message. Well, and there. Fenija, okay, I understand what you say. Several bunches. Well, if I this much him thief, but we not hear Fenija, you know what I say? We don't hear them saying him get a truck and he heard 20, 20 bunches of platen. You know what I mean? We not hear them say nothing about that. But as I say, it's for us to discuss until we hear the full information. All right? Yeah, thank the students. I'm send me the information. But what are students? What I need for, for find out is this. What are there? I know what I'm viewers and subscribers. There are two things I want to put up on the screen. I want to put up my nice friend in a R Jamaica a topic shirt. What are my viewers and subscribers? I make a black up my nice, nice friend face car. You don't know, you see me? What are my viewers and subscribers? Wait, my viewers and subscribers, and be with me one quick second there. Come on, man, how this has stay so? Okay. Well, I'm a viewers and subscribers. Make sure I block out my customer face right there, so. I will never get permission for show her face. Well, I'm a viewers and subscribers, and bear with me, they make me show on the wall, go on, yes, I know. And then we are going to get in at the midst of the class. Bear with me, the students. All right, so let me show this, yes, and students, remember, we must still get to the Jamaica at a picture, you know. Uh, Pauline, the five people, they must forget the shirt. I have to decide, because some people send me some message, but their message, they way down there, so. So all who never get them shirt, or all who want the shirt, them come on. Send me a message and say, a topic we need our shirt too. Well, I'm a viewers and subscribers, and bear with me. So, all the students who don't get to the shirt, or all the students who want a shirt, when they text me and say, a topic we need my shirt, and all who do you can pay cash up, you can pay Zell. And some people that ask, say, a topic we want one name for send by Western Union. So, to anybody who want, to, to buy the shirts, if you're in the U.S. and you want to buy the shirt and you need a name to send it to, you can send me a message and say, Atapik, give me the information and I will send you a name and you can send the money by Western Union. So the shirts are 25 U.S. dollars plus $7 shipping and handling. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So the shirts are 25 U.S. dollars plus $7 shipping and handling. My viewers and subscribers, make a look at where wait me. They see my friend in our shirt. My viewers and subscribers, look at my friend in our shirt. When you can't chat to her, go on my friend and add topic you say. So when I was students, them in our shirt, and my viewers and subscribers, may I cover my friend face, car. she never give me permission to publish her face. But see, tell my viewers and subscribers, my friend get her nice shirt. She had topic government shirt, and my viewers and subscribers. So if you want to have your Ask the Government t-shirt, my viewers and subscribers, please remember to send me a message. This is the number to send me a message, my viewers and subscribers. I say, a topic, I would love to buy one of those Jamaica a topic t-shirts. And if you're in the diaspora and you love the work that Jamaica a topic is doing, what you can do and you would love to spread the message because when we ask the government the right questions, it shake them up. And it's either them come out and tell with something, and when them tell with something, it might put them in more problem. You understand? So, my viewers and subscribers, please remember to send me a message and say, a topic, I would love one of the shirts. Them. The shirts are 25 US dollars plus $7 shipping and handling. You understand, my viewers and subscribers? So, if you're in the US and you have it, you can buy one tree shirt. I say, a topic, I can buy one tree shirt and support the thing. And you can give it to the people I'm in Jamaica who want the shirt. You understand? So, if you haven't gotten your shirt, my viewers and subscribers, if you're in the US and you're not interested in, in, in keeping the shirt for yourself, you can just buy the shirt and then, you know, we'll give it to somebody. Or you can give it to anybody in the live in Jamaica, who you would like. You have to support the thing, my viewers and subscribers. And look how the shirt look good. Look how the shirt them look good. This is just how it look panar. I played the other videos with the shirt, my viewers and subscribers. Well, I'm going to say I can't find the other video for play with the shirt for no. Well, on. Well, I'm a viewers and subscribers. Remember showing you one more time how the shirts them good. And I have to support the thing, in you know, my viewers and subscribers. Because if you don't love the thing, you have to support who you love and who you love. Talk the truth now. So if you're in the US, you have the... I, you would like to buy a few shirts 
Because when people in Jamaica say this is a shirt, yeah, everybody's yes, shirt name asks the government. And everybody are wear one of these shirts. People are going to say, no, man, but we had something that happened, man. And then everybody start ask the government. And then the government, Tony, they are, no one is either them start telling a lie. I will pick up on the lie and expose them more. So you have to support the thing, my viewers and subscribers. Let me show you this video with the ask the government t-shirt one more time. And then we're going to divulge into the good business that was found in Clarendon. And then I go open the four lines and you can talk to me. Look at the video here, so my viewers and subscribers. Look how the shirt look nice. This is the shirt right here. So see my friend get fair shirt here. So I don't know how a uh, fair one kind of looks. So you understand in terms of what it is. But here is the shirt. Maybe I owe the picture take for fair side. But look how the shirt them look nice. You have to support the thing, man, my viewers and subscribers. And to all the people in like Jamaica, wear the shirt and create awareness and ask the government the questions. Look at this. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. Yes, Jamaica. Are you tired of the corruption in Jamaica? Are you tired of the government and how they treat the people? Em? The hospital and the MRI, CT scan. No bed, no linen, no nothing at all they have. The government members alone are get rich. We are asked the government, where the money that we want to get during COVID? We are asked the government, tell us about rural read and free money. We are asked the government, who so are... See, there are my viewers and subscribers. If you want an orange shirt, you can get the orange shirt. Look at the shirt. The my viewers and if you want a black shirt, shirt, you can get a... If you want a black shirt, you can get a black shirt. If you want a pink shirt, you can get a pink shirt. Support the thing, my viewers and subscribers. Sometimes you have to put action back at it. You know what I mean? Yes, man. Ask the government the question. We are, we are talk it and we are show it in our deeds. So support the thing, my viewers and subscribers. You need to get one of these shirts and wear it. Make everybody see and hear it. Share it, let everybody hear it. Share it, let everybody hear it. We as Jamaican people, we're tired of the government. And we ask the government the question. We ask the government, tell them about rule and read. Tell them about the six. Why the six parliamentarians will get rich and Jamaica will get poor. Tell them the things them. We want to know who have been telling you who do have known. Jamaica a topic. Yes, we ask the questions around you. My brothers and subscribers, the shirts are 25 US dollars so on. 25 US dollars so on and 3,000 Jamaican dollars. If you're in Jamaica, 3,000 dollars plus shipping and handling. If you're in the US, 25 US dollars plus shipping and handling. The same for Canada and in the England. Anywhere you are, if you're a true Jamaican and you want the best Jamaica, you ask the government questions. The media are not asking them questions, you know. The media are not asking the government questions, you know, because they are my friend. So we, the people, have to stand up and ask the question. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, so that's it, all right? So if you want your shirt, send me a message right there. So I said, Jamaica, a topic, I would like one of those shirts. If you're in the U.S., if you're in Canada, if you're in England, wherever in the world you are, and you would like to purchase a shirt, and you can call me and say, yes, a topic, man, I'd really like two of the shirts, three of the shirts, four of the shirts, them. You understand? You can say to Mr. Hot Topic, I would love two of the shirts and three of the shirts, four of the shirts. And how much ever the shirts you are, you can make me know, all right? Okay. So we are going to move into the next topic now, my viewers and subscribers, uh, in with regards to this gold business. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, we're going to get into this gold business and we're going to put up the article. You know, so see my friend there in her shirt. You can't chat to my friend. Big up yourself and thanks so much for the support. My friend Gloria. I wish something more wants to write here, so. I hope I just like a little while ago. A picture right here, so. What is that picture at the video? Oh, hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me as a kind of student. So hold on. All right, let me put it right here. So now, so we are going to talk about this, my viewers and subscribers, and you know, uh, oh, I double it there. Okay, and then you know, I I will open the phone lines a little bit, and you can talk to me about this gold business and tell me what you have to say about it. And if I open the phone lines, and you just remember say, you know, you just take one five minutes, isn't me? Nobody take more than five minutes and discuss some issues, all right? Because we have all the people who might want to call in. So, you see me? 
I just have to open the phone lines shortly. I want to open the phone lines when you can call. So my viewers and subscribers, here it is. In case you haven't seen it, here's the issue about the gold now. My viewers and subscribers, hold on. See, tell my viewers and subscribers, when you look, when you look and see how glee night I come from, so nobody can say a topic or spread the propaganda. See, tell my viewers and subscribers, goal. Glee night I come from, see the big G there? I write here, so it says, gold find in Clarendon for C3 metals. See the my viewers and subscribers? Gold in Clarendon for C3 metals. Good night to you, uh, Marjorie. May la blessings to you. Paula Shelley said, good night. Now they say, okay, I'm going to check after this program. Jean writes, when those foreign investors eat out Jamaica, Send it back to them country and Jamaica have to pay lots of money to buy it from them. Gloria said, yes, charge him. Sean Paul said, good night, a topic, bless up, I live in Runaway Bay. How can I get one of the shirts to buy? All you have to do, we are, once you make the payment, we we'll send the shirt to you by Nutsford Express, because the shirt them there in Kingston. So if you come at Kingston, you can say, yes, I uh, want one of the shirts, and then somebody meet you, you, you meet at a meeting point, and you pick up the shirt. Or if not, we can send the shirt at Nutsford Express. And you just pay Nutsford Express. <clears throat> you just go on Nutsford Express and I you show them your ID and pick up the shirts. And I think they must charge must six or seven hundred dollars for deliver the shirts. So you just send me a WhatsApp message, Sean Powell. Alright? Send me a WhatsApp message and we'll discuss that. My viewers and subscribers, let me read the article. Right here it says Jamaica. Uh, C3 Metals, a Canadian mining firm, said it found more copper and gold after investing millions this year on its Jamaica operation. The Canadians found the metals after assaying two rock samples from drilling several hundred meters underground. It's the latest in the island's attempt <clears throat> to return to commercial gold and copper mining. That company focused its drilling in the Proverst area in Clarendon. So my viewers and subscribers, anybody from Clarendon in the video, in the class yeah, <clears throat> know anything <clears throat> about this yeah, gold fine? Is there anybody in the class from Clarendon who know about this gold fine? Please feel free to call me and share your views on the matter. Let me call Ibania and see if Ibania want to talk about this you know, because you bring up this a gold matter. So tell me as much as what you know about it. Well, and my viewers and subscribers. Hello? Good night, Papa. Yes, good, good night, teacher. Good night. You good night, I born. You are going. How are you doing? I'm here, you know. All I'm right. here thinking. All right, what and what you thinking about now? Talk to me and tell you what's on your mind. What's our topic then? You know? Right, our topic tonight is in the class. Me, I wonder now what go on with the gold thing here yeah, because oh five percent. Why five percent? Well on there, well on there, well on well on there. Well on there. When you say five percent, I don't understand the five percent terms. Is it that from all the fines or the gold that is found, Jamaica is only entitled to 5%. Is that what you mean? I don't understand the 5%. You have to explain to us about the 5%. Who are going to get 5%? 5% five exactly for what? It. That's exactly it, teacher. The government is getting 5% out of the minerals, not just gold, copper as well. Ah, well, on the sister, well, well, on the, well, on, well, on the Iban, because... Yeah, Remember, so I never get much information from the story. So I'm going to ask you one question now. Let's say them people are fine. What hundred pound of gold? Or, 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 make us put this there now. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I can't believe this. I ban you. Five percent. So let's say them fine X amount of gold. We are going to get five percent of that. Five, no matter how much them fine, only five percent. Only five percent each. In a year, may I say only five percent. When them define the fool's goal in an over, but they don't know. Say all right. They say the more them dig fool's goal, mm -hmm. and the more you know. Say all the 
deposits anywhere near fool's gold is because fool's gold is also a mineral. Yes. Right? It can use fool's gold as a mineral as well. Yes. Right? But I have been hearing that the government has been keeping a tight lip on this because people from Clarendon have been saying that they have been digging for almost a year. So, so let me ask a question now. So, who negotiated this five percent? That is the question. Who negotiated that Jamaica would only get five percent of whatever? You know, see the big nose reindeer. But you know, say if I'm in the of mining, come on, um, teacher. The other things that they, this this not this not explain not not tall to we neither you know because there are some things that are not explained pro properly to us. Nobody didn't know about the gold that is in Clarendon until the people in Clarendon did for them did have a talk talk about it. So eventually, boom, gold come all of a sudden gold. In a and you have been mining this gold for this area for about a year now, and we're just hearing about it. Why? A true election has come up. But you know, say teacher, you know, you know, when I look at this now, I born now. I have this to say on that matter. You see, if that is the case where gold fine and a 5% Jamaica get an Andrew negotiate the deal, him in a problem. You hear me? You hear what I say, Ibania? Knowing that he's not favored on the political landscape, no. Because Jamaicans are realizing that the leaders are selling out Jamaica. And you mean to sell me, say, we find gold in our country. Gold where we are them digging up, but it's still our place. You can't come in at my place, come dig up. Well, well, no, sister, we just well, 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 Remember, say, I could have, oh I am God. a punch. Well, and I, banner, just want to give me a few minutes. I just want to set the stage. Despite that, we could have found the money to find the tools. Start the truth now. We could have found the money and link up with the people them elsewhere to find the tools to come in here. So, not because you have the tools, then you decide that you are going to get most of it. Now, I am going to say this, I, banner. We have known, and the problem that many Jamaicans are having is that the government have been selling out. The country and nothing for the people. And you mean to tell me, say, we find gold where everybody will kill themselves off. And instead of the world, Jamaica should have rejoiced, say, yes, the country find gold. At least the government can use the money where they get off of the gold and fix up the hospital, them turn first class hospital. Talk the truth now. Pay the teachers and the civil servants. Talk the truth now. Spend enough money for fight well, crime no. and all. Talk the truth now. 5%? Yeah, we we'll find oil as well in our waters, you know. Sister, yeah, somebody need to shed some light. Like, me I go do it. You know what me I go do? 200 barrels or 200 tons of oil, something like that. I have to go and do more research on that one. Well, I am going but to do my research. After them find the gold, then all of a sudden them find oil. You see, all it go back to back, you find gold. And which part you find gold, you find copper. And then all of a sudden the news broke out, say you find oil. Could it be? What is going on? Could it be that they what knew about it? On? Could it be that they knew about it from a long time and they tried to hold it down? But because the election is coming now, they're trying to bring this up to show that to show that all kind of positivity is going to happen in Jamaica. But if that is the case, we're going to rub it. If that is the case, we're going to rubbish it. Because if gold finding in Jamaica I means Jamaica is supposed to nice again. Are are not again. I wanna know wanna know are not again. Jamaican supposed to nice now. Because if we find gold and when people find gold it solves them problem. This gold must solve our problem. When we don't we're gonna be a first world country. I know we are mining it. We're going to be raped and robbed of these minerals of No, but this is what I say. So so let me tell you so so in this situation in this situation. In this situation, we have forgot to put pressure upon whosoever negotiated the deal. You hear what I say, sister? In this situation, we have forgot to light fire under the person till we negotiate the deal. So the first question we are asking, 
who negotiated the deal with the company that find the goal, how much Jamaica is getting. We want to see the facts on that. That's why we are asked the government. That's why we are asked the government. Who negotiated the deal with the company? How much is Jamaica really getting from it? And then that person must be put in the hot seat. You have the floor for yourself now. Go ahead. And a, a topic, teacher, you know, say in the article, it states that the government, it never said Jamaican and Jamaica and Jamaicans, you know, it said the government will be getting 5%. But I want to ask, how does how do we benefit from this? Because you finding all these minerals in our country, about five years now, I've been told that there was this company that was offshore digging oil, and then the company just went bankrupt all of a sudden, and then now it's been revealed that oil is here in Jamaica. So what happened to that company? Why them did I feel leave all of them something there? Now, you know, all of these things going through my mind. We are not going to be benefiting from this because the deal has already been done. And this deal was a deal between Canada and Jamaica and the Canadian president and and Andrew Olness. Right? And we know and those are... Know what I know, what I know, what I know, what I know. And Jamaica's we know those not are... What I know, sister? What I know? And we know that those are the two champion boys. We know those are the two champion boys for the cashless and system. Look at it. There's this picture, not to cut your teacher, but there's this picture online, right? And I'm going to um, get it and show you. It shows the, the Canadian um, president, prime minister, sitting over in the chair that has the Jamaica flag right beside it. And the Jamaican Prime Minister sitting over the chair where the Canadian flag is. No, if I am reading right, and if I believe my conspiracy theories, um, then you're telling me that in that picture, because that picture is worth a thousand words, and this is it's just my thinking, class, this is just my thinking. You're saying that it's Canada who has the reins over Jamaica now. Who has the contract over Jamaica now? Because every little thing that these Illuminati people do is, is done in front of our eyes, and which I mean. In. So how can a Canadian president be sitting in the seat where the Jamaican Prime Minister should be with the Jamaica flag sitting right there? You're telling me something. We read differently in a teacher, we see things differently, you know, you understand. Yeah. Right? So you, you have Canada... Um, Importing weed and trust me, me smoke and I'm not afraid to say so. I taste some, I taste some, some things what you where we can say, the North Carolina Jamaica that come from, and it a flood the market. Mm -hmm. It a flood the market, all them grab it, it a flood the market. And if you never know that these things cause a long problem over Canada, Canada and weed cause long problem over Canada, you know. Yeah, and those people over Canada and I buy for them weed, you know. No, no, Abania, 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 hello, 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 Alright, teacher. Yeah. So you are said that you say so some when things. The, when Lana, go on, go on, continue. Yeah, ma, so you're importing Lana mm -hmm. from over that country. Yeah. Right? And up to now, you know, give our um ital Rastafarians the opportunity to grow the type of uh, herbs that we have here that is more important than everybody else's. You understand? You know, all on the, 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 the ganja license, the, the, the herbal license for the bigger people and even what do you raise the license to fee when I Hold on, my friends and subscribers. Let me see what's happening here. Hold on. 
Apparently, I bought me an internet to reconnect. Apparently, her internet is reconnecting. Hold on a second. But my viewers and subscribers, I want to say something to you. I was watching a documentary. And the documentary that I was watching, you see? It showed that back then, the bauxite companies would come to Jamaica. And they would invest in Jamaica. And they would take all of Jamaica's resources and give Jamaica only a little two pounds. That's what they would do. And I realized that Michael Manley stood up against these bauxite companies and said no. And that's when he implemented the bauxite levy where he told them that, listen, Jamaica need to get something out of the money. So, in, so if that is the case, it is the same way that Brother Devon, it is the same way that Brother Devon need to stand up and put in some gold levy or some high levy and say, no, 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 Jamaica has to get some of this. And in the event of that, we are going to light fire upon him tail. In the event him don't do that, we're going to light fire upon him tail. Do you agree with me, my brothers and subscribers? Let me know if you agree with me, my brothers and subscribers. He just said, Jamaica, the best herbs. We importing herbs from Canada. This is that joke. Let's sell us out for two. Let's sell us out for two. Oh, this is how document to them say about the integrity commission. But me not see them call nobody name. Now that I want to see, I want to see when the integrity commission call the name, they must say this are one, this are two, this are three. That I want to see. And big up to all those who are just coming out of the class. Big up BCA, big up class prefect. Everybody who's just coming into the class. Blessings to you all. Blessings to everybody who's just coming into the class, alright? Blessings to you all. But my viewers are subscribers, you know? I was looking where Michael Manley were back then and I'm going to be doing a discussion about it tonight tomorrow night. You know what let me just not divulge on this issue because I really didn't plan to speak that much on it because I don't I haven't done my work on it as yet. So I wish not to speak that much on it. You understand? So I will have to do my research as usual. And when I do my research and I have completed my research then I can have a class filled with information, you know. But until then, let me just go ahead and uh, look directly into another topic. Police in Catherine Business Community is voicing All right, this is not the one. This is what I want to talk about now, my brothers and subscribers. We're going to be moving uh, that topic sooner or later, but, but not at the moment. Because I'd like to do some more information. I'd like to do some more research and find out when the deal was done, if it's Devon signed the deal for Jamaica to get 5%. There are a lot of pertinent questions that must be asked. And, you know, I'm going to divulge into that. You understand? But for now, my subscribers, I want to talk about this. My brothers and subscribers, anybody remember I talk about a fish kill that happened in Harbour View? I want to ask you a question, my viewers and subscribers. Let me not let me not say it again. Anybody remember a fish kill that I spoke about last night? Or do I give it away? I'm going to see if you are paying attention. Can any of the students tell me? I played a community last night that was severely affected by fish kill of some hazardous metals or material or whatever it is lingering in the water causing the fish to die. My viewers and subscribers, we spoke about it last night. Let me see which student remember which era did I speak about last night that in that fishing village the fishes were dying. Let me see somebody type in the comments. 
Carol God, good night. You, Natasha Cousins, good night to you. All the students who are just coming in, blessings to you. Blessings to you, one and all. All right, Juliet Jackson, say how about you? Thank you so much, Juliet. You're paying attention to the class. So last night I played a video showing that there has been a fish kill in Harborview. Yes. And uh, a whole heap of fish, you know, we saw washed up. Fish lose them three pints, you know, and the company who people are saying maybe they are the ones who did it, they come out and say, no, it's not we, it's not we, that's in Harbour View. But my viewers and subscribers, I found it a little strange that after that happened, here's another incident happening again, my viewers and subscribers. I wanted to pay attention to this. Because, you know, apparently it seems as if somebody is deliberately targeting the water systems. Somebody is targeting the streams, the rivers, the harbors. Somebody, it seems... Because I don't think that these things are by coincidence and I don't think that these things are of any natural causes. I believe that somebody with an ulterior motive is doing something to the water. If you agree with me, my viewers and subscribers, please tell me. I want you to take a look at this article, uh, this video clip from uh, the Jamaican cleaner. Let us take a look at it and we'll discuss it, alright? Because I was so surprised to realize that we talked about a fish kill yesterday. And today, is, a, is something different? Do you think that this is a deliberate act of sabotage? Tell me, type in the comments and tell me what you think. Listen to this. My name is Tiny. And, and tell, tell me what you experienced yesterday. I'm going to buy the bridge here, train a line, try to get to each other. My brothers and subscribers, look at this lady. That's why I met her, let's say, say, Jamaican woman, we have to big them up in my brothers and subscribers, but I have to big up Jamaican woman, you know, to all those who were on the program today when we were celebrating Portia Simpson Miller's birthday and I liked him. You know, some of the achievements of Ryan was showing all things Portia today. And Portia was saying that Jamaican women, you know, they're resilient. They want to earn a living and, you know, they, 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 they are serious about helping and achieving and putting to, towards the family. And my viewers are subscribed, but when you look at this big woman right here, so. If you ask what is this lady's profession... Some people that say, oh, I don't know. Maybe she look like a baker. Or maybe she look like somebody who cook food. Maybe she look like somebody who clean the place. Maybe. A lot of people would ask, you know, what, what profession is this lady? But, but you would be surprised to find out that this lady is a fisherwoman. Yeah, you missing my friends and subscribers. You would be surprised to find out that this lady is a fisherwoman. Somebody type fisherwoman. You would be surprised to find out that this lady is a fisherwoman. My viewers and subscribers. That's why we say we have to big up the Jamaican woman then because they do whatever they have to me do to make life worth living for themselves and them families. But my viewers and subscribers, listen carefully to what the lady said. Because I showed you last night that is not the small man is affected by these things happening in the river. It's, but it's not the big man is affected by these things when spill happening at the river and all kind of thing. It's always the small people. So the question that I'm asking you, is it a deliberate sabbath? Is it a deliberate act of sabotage to stop the people's revenue? That is the question that I'm asking you, my viewers and subscribers. Listen carefully and you can tell me what you think about this lady that I'll be playing this video off. Tell me exactly what you think about this woman. <laughs> My name is Ethel Scott. Yes. Tiny. And tell me what you experienced yesterday. I the... got by the bridge there, train a line, trying to catch two fish and all and a sudden. Pure black eye. 
pure black oil until now. Yeah, the my girls and subscribers, the lady says she dung there and chew out her line and try to catch two fish. The lady says she down there and chew out her line and try to catch two fish. My girls and subscribers, these are the people who are always affected, you know. I mean, you know, rich people, not no rich man, you know. It's always the small people. It's always the regular people who are affected. The lady says she down there and chew out her line and try to catch two fish. That's what the lady say, you know. The lady says she out there a chew out her line and try to catch two fish. Listen to this. Yes. Tiny. And tell me what you experienced yesterday. I the down by the bridge there, train a line, trying to catch two fish and all that stuff. Pure black eye. Pure black eye until now. I put up at the line, there's nothing. Pure black eye. No wonder we chucked that broke down in the water, makes so much oil. It's in the water. I'm going to walk forward and say that I'm going to run off. I'm going to take up my fish pot. I'm going to run around here with my fish up right now. I'm going to take it out of the river. Because nothing in it. Pure black eye. When you pass it, you can look at it right now at the bridge here. But do you, you, you have to see any of the fish eye? No, no. I don't, I don't see any dead fish. But they are just eye. Just, just the black eye and eye. eye. So, so tell me what are your fears? That it might be another pollution or what? Can't be about me and me as bad as the one, the last, the second to last one. Let me say that. But you can't see anything really dead. But the other day, like Saturday, I don't know what's wrong with the river. I was here again fishing. And all of a sudden, there is nothing going on when you look at the lobster crawling out. I mean, that somebody bombed the river, I don't see the person. But I see a lot of dead shrimps crawling out of the river. subscribers but as I said you know that is the reality of many Jamaicans they're trying to make a living and for one reason or another they're living and their resources are sometimes reduced as a result of not the actions of their own in my viewers and subscribers, but actions of other people. And I, I and I know that the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, is the agency who is responsible for looking at this and trying to, to find solutions and to sanction people if they are found at fault. And I want to say, my viewers and subscribers, that we often remember say a Devon is the person who has that ministry under his watch. Remember, sir, Devon run Nepa. My viewers and subscribers, Nepa is a ministry that is in the office of the Prime Minister, you know. Nepa is a ministry that is in the office of the Prime Minister, my viewers and subscribers. What I'm basically saying to you is that I we spoke about it. Anything that have to do with Devon, if any big people do anything, all them have to do is to just rub butter Devon. No, rub butter puts nose. That's all them have to do. And after that, my viewers and subscribers, dog, name your supper. Big just a plan. Now this illegal dumping. Andrew White said, I don't believe Jamaica will get anything out of it. Maureen Hardy said, yes. Pat said, uh, sabotage in a go on. People open and up on the eye. Big up yourself, Pat. Blessings to you. Sexy Pat said, all of a sudden, Jamaica and short of water. When I, when I grow, come here, Jamaica, land up with a water. But you know, Jamaica short of water. Yes, now this is sabotage. Yeah, me Nicola Green said to sabotage. Now they said the poor people now have no cookie jar to steal from. How much more can these people take? God in heaven, man. 
Andrea White say, good night. Mr. B.C.A. Smith, bless up yourself. Gene Wright said, there was a Russian company that let have some toxic waste in the water. Oh, I was aware of that one. But I think they did charge the people and then pay one little bit of pitan. But look upon this, my viewers and subscribers. Right here, this is an article from the Jamaica Star. And it's saying that the Rio Cobra Fishers says newly introduced tilapia won't be ready for Christmas. So after them, after the other day, look and listen to this. It says, so after months watching and waiting, with baited breads, residents of Bogwalk and adjoining St. Catherine communities have concluded that fingerlings, which were used to restock the Rio Corby earlier this year, will not be ready in time for Christmas. So remember, say earlier on this year, there was a lot of fish that was wiped out as a result of, I believe, that same company releasing some toxic matters. And while the toxic matters were released, my viewers and subscribers, a lot of fish, you know, were wiped out. So they decided that they were going to replenish the stock. Replenish the stock and breed some more fish and try to see, you know, if they can uh, uh, let them breed up and that there's enough fish for people to catch and for, you know, everything like that. But my viewers and subscribers, unfortunately, that won't happen. Unfortunately, that won't happen none at all, my viewers and subscribers. So me want to ask a question now. Why is it that Devon don't pass a strict, strict, strict law? My brothers and subscribers, remember that Devon is the person where have control over Nepal, you know? Fully supports any measure Why is it, my brothers and subscribers, that Devon don't say to Jamaica and say, all right, Jamaica, listen to me then now. You see, for too long these people have been allowing the dirty water to make the fish them lose them three pints. And when the fish them lose them three pints, a poor Jamaican people suffer. So just like how the judge, a man thief two, a man thief some Aki now and them give the man two years. A man thief Aki and them give the man some years. My question is this, why won't when these companies release the toxic wakes, why won't the government Lock down them company or tell them, tell them that they will face a minimum charge of 50 million or whatever millions it will be. And they will give some to the people who are affected and give some for fix up the environment. And like me, I tell. In my viewers and subscribers, that is a question I ask. Can you talk to me then, no? Talk to me, my viewers and subscribers. Can you talk to me then? Talk to me, my viewers and subscribers. Please and thanks. Can you tell me now? But no, this is the Jamaica that we live in where once you are friends with the right people, nothing will become of it. So I mean, say good night. That topic, thank you for your hard work and dedicating dedication to the people at Jamaica. We have to do it because we love it. All right, so I sent you a video about the links to fish kills and recent earthquake. May I have to go look on it there? And the other phone. Well, and then I have to give me some time and look on it then. Now they say, Kali, that's great. I try to watch on my TV and chat on my phone as well. Two devices. I lie. Big up all of the students them who are watch on them two devices. Big up all of the students them who are watch on them two devices. Blessing still. Now they say, I know. That's why I have premium. But run other things. I mean, Judge Jamaica, our topic car. Make a fool. Well, blessing still, call everybody and thanks, eh? Watching big up on yourself, man. Sexy fata, everybody. Can I say it's possible Jamaica have a blessed place just for? But can I say? When I see that information, they just get distracted a while ago. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, I want video. I want to play phone, you know. I want to play, play a video phone, my viewers and subscribers. And I don't know. I think his head boy did speak about it on the program. If I'm not lying, I think it's Ed Boy did speak about this on the program, my viewers and subscribers. But we're going to talk about it. And the thing that I want to say, my viewers and subscribers, is this a Christmas year? This a Christmas year named Zoso Christmas, or named SOE Christmas. My viewers and subscribers, 
it looked like by the time Christmas come, every single parish in a Jamaica I got the pan lockdown. When you hear me say my brothers and subscribers, it seems that if by the time Christmas comes around, every single parish in Jamaica is going to be on a lockdown. It seems like by the time Christmas comes around, every single parish in a Jamaica are going to depend lock down. That is what it seems like. I'm going to play this first video showing you how many parishes were in lockdown or have SOE. And then I'm going to show you that there was another parish that was added today. So the government number, has imposed these people are purporting please add one to it you hear my viewers and subscribers this is your first assignment this reporter is going to tell us how many parishes are currently under state of emergency and your first assignment is to add one more to that your first assignment is to add one more to the list and i'm going to show you who else so the amount of parishes where him say under soe you listen to it but you can also add one more to that because a parish another parish was just recently listed as the under being under state soe again listen to this very carefully my viewers and subscribers it looks like for christmas everybody i got the pan locked down listen to this the government has imposed states of public emergency soes in the parishes of saint james hannibal westmoreland saint catherine and clarendon and the St. Andrew South Police Division in response to high criminal activity. The 14-day security measure began at 12.01 a.m. on Friday. A statement from the Office of the Prime Minister, OPM, indicated that between January 1 and December 5, the St. Andrew South Police Division produced the second highest number of murders across all police divisions with a total of 113 homicides. It was further stated that the St. Catherine North Police Division produced the fourth highest number of murders with 109 homicides among all police divisions. The Clarendon and St. Catherine South Police Divisions recorded the fifth and sixth highest number of murders. For Western parishes, the OPM said St. James continued to have the highest number of murders across all police divisions with a total of 173 homicides recorded between January 1 and December 5. The Board of Man Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So the question I'm going to ask you now, look here. Are we, are we, are we there something that I look for? Well, my viewers and subscribers, on your screen, the gentleman tell you how many parishes under state of emergency. See the number there. Can one of the bright students in the class type and confirm with me? Welcome, Jack One. Big up yourself. For all of the other students who just are coming out of the class, big up yourself. Now this is six. I know six in a Nadi. Because there's a five parishes and one police division. There's a five parishes and it's only one division out of Kingston and St. Andrew. Well, I'm a viewers and subscribers. I will this video they do. So I'm going to play one other video. Which video I'm going to talk about now? Oh, well, and they said the video you move and play phone. No? Well, I'm a viewers and subscribers. Yes, man. Come on, say me never have that video you have to play phone. No? So, a while ago, we told Sexy Fat, so she tell me, well, you tell me if you choose Sexy Fat, you tell me if you choose it coming into pass now, Sexy Fat, I go and show you why. So, right there, we say, say five people, so we currently we see that five parishes are under state of emergency and one division in a St. Andrew South. All right? Then it just a St. Elizabeth is added to the SOE. Apparently, St. Elizabeth in the long time, sister, I go and show you something else we are going because it looks like so this is a Christmas as a SOE, Christmas Jamaica going off. This a look like this a Christmas. Yeah, is a fully locked down Christmas. I'm going to let you see which other parish. I'm going to let you see my viewers and subscribers which other parish has currently been declared under the SOE. 
And I want you to see and listen what the people of that parish is saying. I want to say that we're all in for the support of crime and violence, of, of, of fighting crime and violence. We're in support of strategies that are aimed at reducing crime and violence, you know, and maintaining the law and order and safety of civilians going about their peaceful business. Yes, we're all about that. But while in doing so, we're all about doing it in the right way and allowing decent law-abiding persons to go about their business. Just as how you're looking out for the decent law-abiding citizens' safety, that is how you must also look about their finances. What I mean is that you can't tell the people that you're looking about their safety and you're going to have SOE to keep them safe. But in the same breath, you're using the SOE to lock them down and to reduce, if not erase, the sales in them business. I remember it's the sales in them business that allow them to live. Because when the business sale them can pay two bills and do whatever, but when SOE in there and the place locked down and the people them can sell them goods and them good spoil, who benefits? And from what we're hearing is that despite how many SOEs are there, there are a lot of crimes still happening right under the SOE nose and not under the SOE eye. That is a question that I'm saying to my brothers and subscribers. I want you to see that five parishes are already under SOE. And here is a next parish which was just added to the list. And I want you to listen to what the people of that parish is, are, that, that parish is saying. Listen carefully. The St. Catherine Business Community is voicing concerns about the impact of the current state of emergency in the parish on commerce for the festive season. President of the St. Catherine Chamber of Commerce, Dennis Robotham, is calling for clarity. Carrie Ann Simpson has the support. President of the St. Catherine Chamber of Commerce, Dennis Robotham, is calling on the authorities to... We attack. They're not putting in the state of emergency for, for, for help Jamaican people life. Fenny just said it right. Fenny just said he is instituting SOE to stop the PNP from campaigning. Conman has a motive for everything. And a true you attack. BCA said, are the SOEs linked to local government elections? Of course, because he's trying to stop the, 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 the people from campaigning. That's exactly what he's doing, trying to stop the PNP from campaigning. So that's why every minute we're bringing SOE, SOE. But my viewers and subscribers, please pay attention to the video. I will go and say what the people of St. Catherine are saying about this. Listen very carefully. The St. Catherine business community is voicing concerns about the impact of the current state of emergency in the parish on commerce for the festive season. President of the St. Catherine Chamber of Commerce, Dennis Robotham, is calling for clarity. Carrie Ann Simpson has the support. President of the St. Catherine Chamber of Commerce, Dennis Robotham, is calling on the authorities to outline the details and possible effects that the current state of emergency in the parish will have on business with the festive season less than two weeks away. Looking at the whole overall thing, you know, back again into the Christmas season when we have already gone deep into our pockets to stock and to do all of that. I don't know what the ram is. Back in the Christmas season where the people them dig deep in them pocket for stack up them place, for buy up how much goods all, all over. The people them all borrow up money for buy up goods. We say, yeah, Christmas has come. Hopefully, we can sell some things from Christmas and make a big food and pay back the people them when borrow the money from. I use the rest, but buy up some good and buy one nice Christmas dinner. Instead of that is the direction that the people are looking at. The people are worried now because the people might say, we take up our money. We take up our money for go stack our place and the government come with SOE. We now go sell nothing at the Christmas. So if SOE is continuing and the place locked down and nobody can sell, who are going to make the money? This government is doing some things that are selfish and the people are identifying it and the government is going to pay for it. Remember, I told you, 
Pay attention to this. Probably the effects that the current state of emergency in the parish will have on business with the festive season less than two weeks away. Looking at the overall thing, you know, back again into the Christmas season when we have already gone deep into our pockets. So stuck onto the balls. I don't know what the ramifications are because we, we have not been told exactly. You know, you know, the, the details, details of how it operates, the curfew, that, that sort of thing. He says while the Chamber of Commerce fully supports any measure to curb crime, time is also important. Mr. Robotham noted that based on data, crime in the parish has been trending downwards. He suggested ways the authorities could improvise. My brothers and subscribers, if crime in a St. Catherine is trending downwards, why would any smart person implement a zone of special operation? Talk to me now, my viewers, my viewers and subscribers. You normally implement a zone so where is the hot bit of crime? But if 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 crime is trending down. Why then implement a state of emergency? This begs us to perhaps to question your motives. Sophia Wellness writes a good night. Sneaking in was sleeping. Well, big up yourself, Sophia. I haven't seen you earlier on today. Blessings to you. Now they said, Dotty Anjo, you can't you can stop Mark G. Well, that's what he's trying to do. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Calligraphy said, at Pat W, I hope you're able to visit the Jamaica with Jamaica Hot Topic while you're there. We need to, we need to know though. Cool, no, we don't need to know though. Yes. Big up, Pat, man. But my viewers and subscribers, look what that now. The question that I'm asking, if, if murders and crimes are trend down, why would you have a need to go put a state of emergency. That is a question I may ask. Sean Powell said, how much more can we bear with this Blue Rock government? He need to go. The poor people are fed up. Yes. Class Prefect said, I noticed a pattern with Devon practice. Manufacturing a crisis. It's when someone deliberately creates a problem or a crisis. Only to then offer a solution. This is often done to appear as a hero. I know that. That is how the top people... The 1% operates, they create the crisis, then try to create the solution which ultimately benefits them because they knew what they wanted, you know. But if they came directly and told you their true motives, there would be public backlash. So in order to avoid that public backlash, they create some sort of chaos surrounding which particular topic or whatever area or whatever issue that they want to make the change. And when they deliberately create the problem, they come up with a solution. And like you said, class prefect, at that point in time, they're trying to look as a hero for coming up with a solution. But that's what they wanted to do all along. We have eyes to see and we have ears to hear. Let us hear. My viewers and subscribers, listen carefully to what the lady is saying. No? Listen carefully to what the people are saying. Listen, listen. It's been trending downwards. He's suggesting ways the authorities could improvise. I figure it could be surgically done in areas that tend to have upheavals or is vulnerable um, to, to, to violence and volatile areas. We possibly think that could have worked. Turning to the matter of vending in the parish, the St. Catherine Municipal Corporation has given the green light for vending to take place on the streets for the festive season. It's, however, urging vendors to cooperate. With my team, I have collectors and I also have the municipal police. What we check for with the vendors is one, if they have a vendor's license. Two, we also the hands of the support. President of the St. Catherine Chamber of Commerce, Dennis Robotham, is calling on the authorities to outline the details and possible effects that the current state of emergency in the parish will have on business with the festive season less than two weeks away. Looking at the overall thing, you know, back again into the Christmas season when we have already gone deep into our pockets, so stuck onto the wall. I don't know what the ramifications are because we, we have not been told exactly you know, the details of how it operates, the curfews, that sort of thing. 
He says while the Chamber of Commerce fully supports any measure to curb crime, time is also important. Mr. Robotham noted that based on data, crime in the parish has been trending downwards. He's suggesting ways the authorities could improvise. I figure it could be surgically done in areas that tend to have upheavals or is vulnerable um, to, to, to violence and volatile areas. We possibly think that could have worked. Turning to the matter of vending in the parish, the St. Catherine Municipal Corporation has given the green light for vending to take place on the streets for the festive season. It's, however, urging vendors to cooperate. With my team, I have collectors and I also have the little... So I want to quick for collect the people and money. But you can't guarantee the people in that they're going to stay late. You say, oh no, we can't stay my video. So then we can't stay my viewers and subscribers. Wellness warrior, somebody, Kali, I said, bless up wellness warrior. Pat said, calligraphy, our topic is busy, man, you know. Cool. Now, all you have to do just text me, Pat, text me, Pat, text me, Pat, Pat, say, Mark Golden, better talk out. Class Prefect says, so the recent flare up in each parish is quite convenient for the SOE. I'll when no 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 flare up that them declare SOE because if we see a crime a trend down in there, so all them a declare SOE say no. Sex fat say why drop bus fear. Them are wicked. Sex fat say I'm tired of this man. The whole are we tired of him. The whole are we tired of him. Ah, the outer chaos. That is all them do, you know. Them believe in a creating order out of chaos. Them go around and create the problem. I say, oh, we have the solution. And then make it seem like they really care for the people. When truth, in fact, and in reality, they do. Give a A, B, C, D, one, two, three, about the people them at all. Welcome to the government that we elect. I believe it's about time that the people them wise up and get them out, my viewers and subscribers. I was recording a video. I don't know where's the video that I recorded. with. Okay, here is the video. With Peter Bunting talking about the SOEs, SOE. And then afterwards, I'm going to be playing a next video. Because my viewers and subscribers, I'm going to show you them people in a serious about crime, you know. I'm going to show you them people in a serious about crime. Yeah, man, I'm going to show you guys that these people, they're not serious about crime at all. Because if they were serious about crime, there's a number of policies and measures that could be implemented. But on the contrary, we don't see them implemented and it's not because them don't, it is plainly because they don't want to do it. They say crime pays and apparently some people benefit from crime. So does this government benefit from crime in any way? That is a question that we want to ask. My brothers and subscribers are going to be playing this article that I saw with Peter Bunting Talking about this whole issue of crime. Let me just play this art with Peter Bunting right now. And then afterwards, I'm going to be playing this other article. Earlier on, I may talk, I ban I'm going to know what to your internet. Your internet just jump out from my I ban you. I hope you're, you're alright, I hope your internet alright. <laughs> We were in the midst of our conversation, I on the internet apparently. The internet was lost. But listen, my viewers and subscribers, let us listen to what Peter Montin has to say about this, this crime issue. Let us hear his views on this topic and he can tell me if you agree or you disagree. Listen carefully to this right now. Listen. Is and violent crime continues to escalate across Jamaica. Despite the government's declaration of SOEs in a number of parishes and one police division in St. Andrew last week, the opposition is demanding an immediate reevaluation of Jamaica's crime management strategies in the face of the persistent failure of this administration to provide a safe environment for our citizens. The leadership of both the government and the JCF have been touting the supposed success of the recent SOEs, initially imposed in November, and which spurred a further 
performative declaration of additional SOEs last week. However, their self-congratulatory indulgence has been short-lived as at least 21 murders have occurred since last Friday's SOE expansion. Mo so my viewers are subscribers, 21 murder. Somebody type 21. 21 from last week, Friday. In my viewers and subscribers, Jesus save you. I know the country now going good. The country now going good, my brother Devon. So much for us sleeping with our windows and doors open. So much for us sleeping with our windows and doors open, brother Devon. Talk the truth now, my viewers and subscribers. But what I want the PNP to do, you know, is I want the PNP to start coming up with some solutions. I want the PNP to come up with some plans on how they will tackle a crime issue. That is what I want the PNP to come up and speak about the issues. And the plans that they have. Because the PNP is to farm them because if PNP... I go farm the next government or when the PNP farms the next government. I want to hear the PNP say, boy, Jamaica, this is the plan we will have. I will want to them stick towards the plan. If the PNP say, boy, in, in fighting in the aid or in the aim of fighting crime, we're going to go on an all-island, you know, camera campaign in the sense that for every parish and town, where there's a build-up of crime and violence. You're going to outfit cameras left, right, and center because sometimes you're not able to catch a criminal while he's in the act, but you're able to catch them afterwards. And if you do, and if you're not on the ground to see it, and if nobody is willing to tell you what happened, the camera will always be there to tell you what happened. So I need the PNP to come up with some sort of plan surrounding crime and violence from what we understand it's just it's just about 300 people in a jamaica my viewers and subscribers you hear that they once did a study and said approximately 300 people in jamaica are responsible for more for, for more of the crimes that are happening the murders so it's only a certain number of people the government have to have strategies in place to deal with these type of people it can't be SOE where you're going to look for John or you're going to look for Tom and everybody in the community have to suffer as a result of looking for John and Tom. Warm to when police dress up as madman. Eh? Warm to when police my viewers and subscribers, come on man. The man said that the, remember said Devon said that the police force transform you know anywhere that the police can find you. That is said the commissioner must resign. Shameful, shameful. Karen Bingham said, not brother Devon, dirty Devon. Now they delete that message. There's time to say people are dying every day and this woman wasting taxpayers' money by calling police for that. <laughs> oh, you're the, you're the further down in the live. You're there in the panty section. But my viewers are subscribers. Don't talk to me now. Now they say, a topic, Mark has a plan. He talked about the seven-step plan last week. Well, me never hear it, you know. So if you know which part to find it, send it to me, Nadi. But you understand what I'm saying, At You see, you understand what I'm saying. I want to see the PNP standing up as a government. We don't want the PNP to say, okay, Andrew, falter, so make, we make him falter. We want the PNP to say, Jamaica, this is what we have in store for you. Just like how we hear the one person per family educational grant the pnp is purporting this plan that if they form the next government one person from every family member one person from every household will be granted the opportunity to go to university free of cost by the state and that is a very 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 good act because they have a lot of mothers out there who are sending them them son and daughters go out high school and them have a couple more in a primary and they can't afford to send the data go university so if the people's national party from the next government and they decide to honor their plan your daughter can go a university free of cost 
Your son can go to university free, of course. And when them go to university, them can get a degree. And when them go to university and get the degree, them start when we look at 100 toes or 120 or 150 a month. So them that time them can say, boy, mommy, see one look at 20 of a brother and sister. Them can pay 130 for them next rent. 120 for them look at this. You know what I mean? Yes. So that is a good suggestion by the People's National Party. But the PNP also need to, you know, talk about that. Laverne said, because the government knows the crime. Did you know that crime pays? Yes, the music is solving crime pays, but we know it's involving in crime pay for some people. Now they say it's on his YouTube platform. Well, me, I forgot to look for it. But you understand what I'm saying? Just, just come with something that's very, very, very important. At which is Bruce, really, I should be surprised, but I'm not. Well, which is Bruce? I'm going to see which is Bruce in the comments. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. JP said the trumpet has sounded. You have a sound of trumpet? Class Prefect said PNP make suggestions in Parliament, but Devon, them now nah, listen, them just wrong and strong. Well, that's why the PNP need to come out and say, Jamaica, this is the PNP crime plan. Are not even the crime plan. These are the strategies that the PNP are going to use. But again, we know them said them the water, nothing. And Devon. Come take it away. Ron Wallace said, President, blessings to you, Juan Wallace. Which is Bruce Kali. Remember, he went to the U.S. with the dumb PC to deliver so-called 30 names to criminal. A wicked them massa. Perma wicked them massa. Him for put fem name on top of the list. That is what I'm supposed to do, you know. Put fem name on top of the list. But my viewers and subscribers, let us finish listening to Peter Bunting and then may I go play one next man at all. Listen. Most of these murders took place in SOE areas. Last week, there were 38 murders reported across Jamaica. The incidents of violence coming to public attention have only intensified in the current week. It was last week at 38. Jesus merciful. May I listen about this uh, my brothers and subscribers, last week a 38 murder. Last week alone. Merciful Father, no, sir. This island really needs Jesus to chew, man. And we need some plans to chew, man. We need some plans, man. We need some plans to fix up this crime issue. My brothers and subscribers, listen to the stats of Peter Bunting and Spit. Listen. To place in SOE areas. But he said something very important, my viewers and subscribers. You know, say all when the SOE are going, the man, them not afraid that SOE, you know, because SOE are going right as and if them want to smudge them, come for them right in front of the SOE. Because they realize that when these police and soldiers them have them SOE, all them do is sit down on the phone. They realize that once the police have these SOE and these ZOSO, Almost of them do to check the traffic and the rest sit down on phone. But what good is that? For some people, it is a deterrent because some man are going to say, Yo, the boy, them there, you know, so we're not going to make no rush, you know. But other people, if them serious, because we've seen from Tivoli to Mobile to Westmoreland, no matter where you are to even in a jungle or Spanish town, or wherever you are, if state of emergency are going a man want to come pick out your feather, then come pick out your feather right close to which by the soldier there. Because I heard, and I'm not sure how true this is, I heard that if the soldier is stationed at a post during the Zoso and little war are going up here, so or something like that. Here, so the soldier can't leave him post. I'm not sure how, th how true that is. Or I'm not sure if there's any truth to that argument. But from what I understand, I am told, or, or, or what I've gathered so far, or what I hear people say is that if a soldier police there saw a one SOE post, 
and a war a going up there so or something up there so or some shooting a going. It is alleged that the police them cannot go up there or the soldier them cannot go up there go tackle the people them. It is alleged that them cannot go up there go tackle the people. So what sense does it make? Just to stand up and and, and, and check care and put brickade uh, and blockade there. Isn't there any other more isn't there any is there another meaningful way to get your mission accomplished rather than lock down the whole community? That is a question that I want to ask them. Kali said 87, 90, 116. Which is Bruce, I never believe in blossom sacrifice until when only called the murders are just being confirmed, committed in triple and quadruple. Which is Bruce, I never believe in blossom until when only called. Yes, there's more to it that meets the eye. Say, Conrad said, them can't move unless they have a police is there to give the order. Foolish is that. So me ask you a question. You there as a soldier and see one man take one man three pints there so and you cannot intervene and um, uh, 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 light up the, the criminal where we are going to take the people them innocent three pints. Answer my question. You are a soldier and you see a man I got take an innocent man three pints and the man unarmed or the woman innocent pints and them unarmed and you can run out and blaze can pan them. But this yeah man. When I say so that strategy is full full strategy. So me ask you a question, can I? So if you can I think about it for a moment, no? Think about it for a moment, class prefect. Can call you and do allow me to think about it for a moment. You are how will you call it now you are a soldier and you're stationed at a particular place you under your tent are you a check your car then when you look at your two can beat and two knockings kick off or when you look at a man with a run with a tool and run on the next man and you can back out your tool and clot it off of him madness that God say good night to you all. Out of love. Big up to your God and blessings to you. In my viewers and subscribers, no madness that. Big, big madness that. Listen to the facts. So the zoo souls, so the crimes are happening exactly which part of the zoo so there. So the zoo so is of no deterrent to them. Them do afraid of the zoo so. The zoo so come like nothing to them. So, so they need to wheel and come back again. Because the zoo so, I know that sometimes it is a deterrent to some. Let me just make it clear. It is a disturbing to some. But we need a more robust, more targeted actions or strategies towards crime. Where when you go and infiltrate and saturate a community and the find out say a gentleman and Joe and the one that get the problem them. When you launch an investigation do one have to do and get those people and leave the rest of law abiding citizens to live. And if you hear said that one, then name call up, you take time, watch them pee pee, pluck pluck, pee pee, pluck pluck. If you see us, you go put a security post right at the smuddy gate. So if me, me, the lesson, if me are the commissioner now, or me are the police, and me hear say, boy, you know, say, Andrew will get problem. A right at Andrew gate. We are going to park up in and make Andrew say, oh man, are you we are put the pressure upon. You know what that I go um, Andrew will go run and take for himself. Because you know, say police each up on my gate day and night. He might go say, boy, I'm a murder them, boy. I want to murder me, you know. I murder me, I have to go go away. Me have to go run away. There goes your problem. Are you watch him when he might leave? Because if you are police, you must have your ears and your eyes on the ground. Kind of every community, you have people where I link with the police. So I tell the police them what I go on. I like me, I tell my brothers and subscribers, the government feel the better, man. But you can't blame them because they're man criminal a friend. Can't blame them because they're man criminal a friend and criminal have secret for enough of them. And they might carry out work for all kind of criminal. They can't blame them. But let us finish listening to what Peter Bunting have to say. And then I play one last clip. Listen. As at least 21 murders have occurred since last Friday's SOE expansion. Most of these murders took place in SOE areas. Yeah, my viewers and subscribers, most of the shootings and whatever 
uh, my writing at the SOE here. I said, no, in a sense, then what sense does it make? So, what, what, is, what sense it make for them have SOE and shooting still a go up and everything still a go up? The boy, them, I say, boy, them soldier there and them police, I know, so them phone them depend and them a look too, girl. They never business about crime. Me could go crush with ends. Same way. I like me, I tell my viewers and subscribers. I like me, I tell. I am Doreen Walker. Say good night. Good night to you. Me at least said true sur surveillance. I told me I talk surveillance does a far away because surveillance sees for you what you can't always say. Your eye not always there, but for them, yeah, there. I'll tell you some of the police and soldiers work with it. We know that long time. We know that out here, so them and the people, my friend. But basically, what me are saying is that they are running with the SOE as a solution to crime. But we are seeing that it cannot be a solution because if it is a solution, man, man wouldn't a commit crime in a decent area where SOE police they yes are right beside police place I get pie pie up. Which what can go so? What on earth can go so? Tell the truth now. What on earth can go so? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Anyway, my brother, subscribe. Let us finish this to Peter Bunting. Last week, there were 38 murders reported across Jamaica. The incidents of violence coming to public attention have only intensified in the current week. These include the heartbreaking murder of a 14-year-old student of Anchovy High, Randy James, fatally shot while reportedly just seeking shelter during a sudden downpour. That epitomizes the vulnerability of our children in community. In a recent... Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So there you have it, my viewers and subscribers. Peter Bunting was telling them that, you know, them really have to do better for you. Them really have to do better because, guess what, Zoso up me as I write with the Zoso up people said I lose them three points. So it is not effective. We need a more effective solution. And it's an intelligence-driven base operation that is needed. I've often said it, you know, that for every crime that happens, somebody know when it happened, somebody did it when it happened, somebody did it while the crime happened, somebody did it after. So it is for the police to gain the trust of these people. Either they are, whatever means the police have to do, you have to gain the trust of the, of the people. And I've often spoke about something, you know, but I don't want to touch on that. I've often spoke about one solution that the police can offer, the government can offer in a bid to get information. I've often made the solution several times and it is a good, good solution because the police can do this because once them do this, enough people were willing for talk. Enough people were willing for talk. But anyway, my brothers and subscribers, listen very carefully to this. Listen to what this man is saying and tell me if you agree. Listen. In, In a recent last reform, Prime Minister, Prime Minister Andrew Holden stated, stated that, that his administration, administration is currently considering, considering Tabling a legislation to enact a hate speech law in Jamaica. Now, my people, with all root causes of crime in Jamaica right now, our leaders are stating that passing a hate speech law in Jamaica would help them. Well, my people, what I'm saying is that we are considering enacting a hate speech law in Jamaica. With all root causes of crime in Jamaica. We are considering enacting a hate a hate speech law to help, help solve crime, crime in Jamaica. Jamaica. So, so for all, all of the people, we're in the comment section, I see a poco ganda, me a spread, and the Prime Minister. Minister. I know I hear it from different voices now, right? right? On yes, my brothers and subscribers, I hear what the man I say. People are talking, say, there's so much problems that we have. If Andrew was serious about solving crime, the first thing he would have done, is to ensure that they create some sort of campaign which encourages people to speak. I like me to my viewers and subscribers. The government has to come up with some sort of campaign that encourages people 
to speak because for every crime that happened, somebody knew about it when it had planned, somebody was there when it happened, and somebody did it after. And criminals have a way of confessing their crimes. So in the event people trusted these people, they would have told them the information, and when they told them the information, then they could act upon that information. But nobody trusts the police. Because when you go and you tell the police the information, you better remember say police and go call him friend. That is what we've often heard. I say, boy, you don't know who come here station, come call up him a while ago. You don't know, say, Lynette. A Lynette, come here, you know. Or Mary, you oh, are Mary, come a station, come call up any him. Mary, come a station, that is the reality of Jamaica. Listen to what the man has said. There's so much things that we can do to fix crime. And the police, the, the prime minister, talk about hate speech. They haven't gone to sleep, yeah, man. In a recent last before, Prime Minister, Prime Minister Andrew Holden stated, stated that, that his administration, administration is currently considering tabling a legislation to enact a hate speech law in Jamaica. No, my people, with, with all the root causes of crime in Jamaica, Jamaica right, right now, now, our leaders are stating that, that passing a hate speech law would, would help to curb crime violence, violence in Jamaica. In Jamaica. With, With all the root causes that are in front of our eyes every day, day. We, we are considering enacting a hate speech law to help solve crime in Jamaica. Jamaica. So, so for all, all the people, people them, when in, in the, the comment section, section I said, yes, my brothers and subscribers, never know why it matter about this hate speech business. Devon having plans, but guess what? Is he defending the alphabet people? That could be the question. Is there a plan to rig up this thing to support alphabet community? I don't know. I'm just asking a question. Could it be a plan by Devon to try silence the bloggers, try to silence the church, silence the people who are speaking against him? That is a question that I'm asked. That is a question that may I ask. That I should consider teach have a restful night. I'm tired. I drop asleep going to bed. Big up yourself. Me at least say, is there a study on persons incarcerated for crimes about why and what caused them to do it? No, them not have no study except for teeth people money. The only thing them have is just about money, 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 my viewers and subscribers. Somebody said Chuck calls. See, tell my viewers and subscribers, look at this one up on the screen now. Chuck calls for integrity, commission, illicit enrichment report. So, Mr. Sir, let me ask you a question. You sit down with the Speaker of the House in a parliament. You, you have the Speaker in a house at the parliament telephone number. You know the speaker address. You and the speaker are friend. The speaker of the house have the answers for the six. They'll write Chuck, why you don't go to the speaker and tell the speaker said to tell you who the six are. You come out in the gleaner and make it look like say you care. You don't care. Chuck calls for integrity commission illicit enrichment report. Sir all you have to do just go call Devon and Shevan and ask them about the report. That's prefect said, you Devon want shut down. It could be possible. So the bloggers him want shut down. Because when my customer say all wicked liar, big nose Devon, when we do them something there, he might consider it as hate speech, I don't know. So when we cuss out him, what's it not? You know, you never see smoke without fire. And I know it is for a reason. But we will try to see what the reason is for. Dana Richard said, good morning. Teacher and classmates, blessings to you. Laverne Phillips said, he's trying to silence the Jamaican people. Teacher, I know that's what he's doing. I know that's what he's doing. He's trying to silence the Jamaican people. But we will not be silenced. Will not be silenced because we're going to talk the things that my viewers and subscribers. But listen to this man. Do you think that Mr. Chuck is a hypocrite? If you think him is a hypocrite, my viewers and subscribers, type hypocrite. I'm going to say it to you again, my viewers and subscribers. If you think that this man is a hypocrite, I want you to type hypocrite because you're supposed to be the justice minister. 
justice minister is supposed to be, you know. And all you have to do is to talk to the Speaker of the House. Why you don't get up in a parliament and say, boy, my fellow JLP members, it don't look good, say six are we a thief. I don't know, you, you should have get up in a parliament and say, my fellow JLP members, boy, it don't look good, say six are we a thief. Six people per our side are big thief. And time come for, for, for set who they are. Make them clear it up and go on. That is what you must do, you know. You must wait till you're in a parliament and you dip on the floor. Or you have the mic where you can turn and say, Madam Speaker, I tell you the truth. Lord, shame I kill me, Madam Speaker. A shame for say six people from my party. I, I, I get rich and can't say how oh, them get it. That's what you must do. You're coming out in the gleaner telling us this. The, nobody in the gleaner no want to hear nothing from you. Where you should I do? I go get the name of them and carry, carry the name of them. Come out, come give it because you are the justice minister. If you cared, you, you already know the information, because you, know, you are justice minister, you must know. What you supposed to do is so you supposed to say, boy, Devon, to hell with you. If you did care about Jamaican people, that say, boy, Devon, to hell with you. Let me tell Jamaican people who the six are. You know who the six are, and you not tell the people who the six are. But you're going to come out in a paper like you care about, about the six. Here, this apart and from the Green Justice Minister Del Rychuk is urging the Integrity Commission to deliver its report of investigation into the six parliamentarians and 28 public officials who are being probed for illicit enrichment. At a meeting of the Integrity Commission Oversight uh, Committee of Parliament earlier this afternoon, Chuck argued that the anti corruption body has been given the requisite financial resources to deliver more effectively on its mandate of fighting corruption. Nobody come talk because you're not busy about fighting corruption. Shut in the trap. You never stop Jamaican people. You are the justice minister. You have all kind of information. You must know who the six people are. I come here for come out and say, boy, I'm not lying. I'm shame, I'm shame, I'm shame, I kill me. And that's what I do. Laverne said, Chuck is one of them. I don't know. If he's one of them, you know. I tell you the truth, now he said Chuck is losing, is losing reason other than him say the speaker is always right. So oh, he must say this now. A big, big hypocrite them nearly. Pauline said that a freedom of speech of Jamaican people, he want to silence to carry out him agenda. We know. Maria Williams said what kind of play that this Del Rai, a hocus pocus, alakazam play them depan. That play on him Jamaica Big Yard. Last week, it seems POJ has switched from Devon to DJ Tufton, PSOJ, get to Chucky and say for the six. Yes, where well, say the PSOJ, like they will push out Devon and I bring in Tufton. Mark said hypocrite. They're my hypocrite. Mark Pantan, big, big hypocrite. Pauline Gill said, Chuck, you know the six. So name them. That's all Chuck have to do. I tell you who the six are. Because we know you know, Mr. Chuck. Don't tell us the lie. You're the justice minister. You must know, sir. Cut the crap. You're the justice minister. You must know who they are. Be tell the people the truth. My well, I'm saying eight speech is calling. G people. Or oh, fish and whatever, whatever. Okay, me get that. Six so passes. Devon say him after putting laws for the flag people them. Rainbow people, them because him collect them money already. They want collect all sort of money. You see, I'm a force the cashless pan way. Him collect the cashless people money. So I'm a for do it. So if him collect the rainbow people their money, I'm a for carry out them mandate. Near Lisa Laver, now cup Laver, make her dead with laugh. Laver say he's, he is one of them. Chuck wants to be the next prime minister. Chuck can never be no prime minister because nobody no know Chuck now like Chuck Laver. <laughs> Laver in a youth. Laverne in the easy now. Pamela say good morning everyone watching from the UK. Big up Pamela Mitchell from the UK. Now this is a topic I send the IC media release from this evening on WhatsApp. Four reports sent to Parliament today. Now we look funny then hard. I'm not I'm tired. Sexy fat say hypocrite. Yeah, the whole of them are hypocrite, man. Hypocrite, the whole of them sexy fat. All of them are hypocrite. You, my brothers and subscribers, you know, all the man need for do, the man just need for wait till him in a parliament. And when him in a parliament and the speaker, the house attack him for twice, say, boy, I speak, I'm a conscience about me. That's all him for saying, no. him for saying, madam, speak, I'm a conscience about me. Lord, shame, I kill me. As a justice minister, I feel shame for no, say, six people in my party are thief. 
I feel shame for those six people in my party are rob up poor people money. Oh God, you know, you know, you know, you know, name on yourself, man. Name on yourself. But instead, him come up with Chuck Cars for Integrity Commission illicit enrichment report. So, so bust the report then, no? Your Prime Minister put on gag order so nobody can talk about the report. So since you are the Justice Minister, give Jamaica a little justice, no? For once in your life, do Jamaica look at justice and tell us who the six are. Because Jamaica would really appreciate you as a justice minister. Jason yes, Kent, a grand rising teacher and classmates from Great Britain. Big up all the Great Britain and UK people. And blessed morning to you. Big up all those people just waking up in England. We go. Big up all those people who are going to work. Big up on yourself. Welcome, Jason. But the question that I'm asking you, my viewers and subscribers, don't you think that Chuck knows who they are? Chuck is the justice minister. Now, this is Chevron was answer today, you see. You see, when you teeth, where's the shit answer today? Lord Jesus, may I have a good look at which part you see our answer is. So, now you know, should I throw a little answer powder upon our man? Class prefix and maybe Gleena back him in a corner and press him about the six. But nobody now for press him. All he must do is just, just go say to himself, say, boy, I'm a party, I'm not like shame, I kill me. That's all he must say, you no. Know? All he must say is, boy, I'm a party, I'm not like shame, I kill me. Shame, I kill you. We have to do better than this. When you come, hurry up and talk about the six. But my viewers and subscribers, we know that they can't afford the six because in the event the six come out before the election, remember that them are right. Them all writings in the wall. Them are dig them own grave. And they're not doing that because they're smart. They know that Jamaica people tired of them and they don't want that to happen. So you'll never see them doing that. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, I just want to say to Mr. Chuck, Sir, you know for the hypocrisy, it's not the foolishness. I bet you did shut up. I never know why you never go in at the green. I said, Jamaica, I am going to tell you who the six are. That's all it did for tell the green, I know. That's all it did for do it. You should just tell the green. I said, green, I am going to break the gag order. So I know when you come out of chat, boy, Mr. Chuck, your chatting no make no sense. All you had to do was to come out to the people at Jamaica. I said, Jamaica, I am going to break the gag order where the Prime Minister put on for me. And as a justice minister, I'm going to go and look at justice and tell you the truth who the six are. Long time Jamaican people are waiting for Europe and the six. That is what you should have done, right, Chuck? You're going to come out as about, about, about the integrity commission, uh, about your call for report. Why you never bust the report then? Why you never go take out the report from Chevron? You are the justice minister. Why you never walk, go in our office and go take out the report and, and leak it to Jamaican people? Who is a set of hypocrite? But to no go on. To no go on because Jamaican people self fix on the business one one. Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, uh, this is now the end of the program. But all me I said Jamaica need a better leadership because I don't see which one of them mean the Jamaican people good. Because if him feels say he might the Jamaican people good when him come out and call for the report. You know for call for the report, sorry, if I bring the report, come give way. All you need to do is to just bring the report, come give way. Yeah, Chuck think we stu seem stupid for sure. Nearly. Chuck think we stupid, but we have sense. Nearly all the man, him know who the six them be. If him did so care, him not go in at the woman office, go take out the paper and care come show away. You are called the report. You don't know which part of the report them keep in her office. Go take out the report and come give way. Me Jamaican people hear and say, yes, they're right, Chuck, I do good. Go on from me, I say, yeah. You must feel like when you can't trick nobody, all people, your people, them soon vote you. That's all me I go say. But anyway, my girls and subscribers, this was indeed your second class. We had a class earlier on, uh, blessing up Mama P and bigging up Mama P for our birthday. In case you didn't see the live that we did earlier on, I would recommend that you go and watch that live. That life was very festive and buzzy and full of vibes. You understand? So you can go back to that program that I did today. <laughs> because this is my second program for the day. I did an earlier program earlier on in the day. So you can check that out. But this is the second program. 
Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for being here and jumping on our topic. Really appreciate each and every one. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for everything. Blessings to you. I hope you have a good day, a good night. All those in England, good morning to you. Those in the US and UK, good morning to you. Those in Jamaica, good morning to you. Barbados, good morning. Cayman, good morning. Trinidad, good morning. Belize, good morning. St. Kitts and Nevis, good morning. St. Lucia, good morning. Bermuda, good morning. All of the Caribbean countries, Trinidad and Tobago, good morning. Because I realize a lot of Caribbean people watch me. Good night to you all from the Caribbean. Blessings to you. Keith B said they playing games, trying to cause confusion. We know that's what they're doing, Keith. Now this is a bless of classmates and teacher. Brianna, me and Brian say, okay, thanks. Blessings to you, me and it's a good night, teacher. Love class. Big up on yourself, my brothers. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for everything. Now this is a thanks, Kali. Big up on yourself, my brothers, subscribers. Big up on yourself. Kali say, I know when you have time. Check out the Integrity 2002-2003 Annual Report, page 135 and 36, as some recommendations. Okay, keep the same to you. Thank you again, my viewers and subscribers. On behalf of Jamaica Hot Topic, blessings to you. May the Lord bless you. Keep your main face shine upon you. Big up on yourself. Pretty, pretty, say, have a blessed night, everyone. So I wish for you did a pretty, pretty. All oh, you in the comments and you're so silent. And when your ears a class, I don't you run out. Pretty, pretty, mind you in the class, I eye glean up. Pretty, pretty, mind you in the class at Eagle. Because I don't see in the class when I talk, but when you hear school bell ring, you jump up. Mind you not pretty, pretty. <laughs> anyway, big up yourself, man. Pretty, pretty, take care. Calligraphy <laughs> say, have a good night or morning, everyone. And bless up Jamaica topic. You big up on yourself, and to all of the students up in the class. Remember, I love you. Yeah? Love and respect all of you. So, what good? Take care and thank the whole of you for the support. Thank you for the time, you see me? Blessed and walk good on the gravel. All those who are going to work, have yourself a good day at work. Alright, blessings to you all from Jamaica at Topic. Oh Lord, about seven hours I'm spending with you in a watch at three hours, four hours, seven hours I'm spending.